Right, okay, I think we're all set to go now. So, again, welcome back to Kirbython, final day of Kirbython. This is day number 12, like I just said. So, yeah, Kirby Star Allies, this game came out on Switch a few years ago, 2018, I think, this game released. I could be wrong on that, I forgot what year this one released, but it was fairly recent, relatively speaking. And we're going to be getting a new Kirby game next year, so I'm looking forward to that. Let me just switch on over to the layout. Here we are. So like my recent Kirbython streams, this will be an entire playthrough in a single sitting. I may take a break in the middle, as I've been doing for the last couple games, so if it's like a 6-7 to seven hour game, I'll probably find a spot in the middle to like take a break. Also, I haven't played this game since update version 4.0.0. I don't think there's been any updates since then. Nope. We're just going to play the base game, we're not going to do any of the side content because I don't think there'll be enough time for that. Yeah, that, that Smash Brothers thing, that was quite something. Soda and Smash. I didn't think it would happen, but it did, and I'm quite happy for it, like I think that was a good choice. You know some people are still going to be disappointed, like that's the thing with these like Smash Brothers things, you can never please everybody. But I think in terms of like what crossover character would you get the most love for, I think that was a good choice. I forgot how nice this game looked and this is just the title screen. There's my original save file by the way, yes I did actually fully complete this all the way through. My original VODs are still on YouTube, if you wanted to look, look at those as well. Yeah, this is like the update content. There was like a bunch of free updates where there was like extra content. Extra playable characters as well. Adeline and Ribbon. Dark Meta Knight. The Roach. I, f I forgot how many like extra characters this game even had. Maggle were one of my favourite Kirby characters. Taranza. The character that I knew the least about until very recently. Again, I didn't finish Triple Deluxe all the way through until like two days ago. And of course Susie from Planet Robobot. Again, I forgot how much content this game even had in terms of like post-game release. Like this was all free DLC, this was not like paid stuff. Like say what you will about Star Allies, but at least I had like plenty of like free content afterwards. Alright, can I play the video game now? Please. <laughs> right, okay, let's get started. Right, right, well here we go then. I think this game might be a little bit shorter than the last couple, I'm not entirely sure. This might clock in at about 6 to 7 hours, maybe not like 8 to 9 hours. Are you going to use those characters? Can I use them during single player story mode or do I have to like use them in side game content? Side games? Right, whoa. There's a chance I might not even get to use them then. If there's time at the end of the single player story modes, I might try out some of them, but I can't really promise that. What in tarnation? Sorry, I'm trying to like think of what King DDD would say if this was the anime. Look at that high definition Kirby. The highest of deaths. The highest deathing Kirby out there. Right, so that's all the story you get. World of Peace Dreamlands. Hey look guys, it's a 3D Kirby game. Except not really. 
So this is kind of like how 3D World sort of sets out its like stage layout, like you can just run around anywhere, but it doesn't really... It's not like there's much you can do outside of the levels you get given. Oh yeah, I forgot this game runs at 30 frames per second. Really don't like that, to be honest. I was hoping they would have fixed that in a post-game update, but no, it still runs at a capped 30 frames per second. Like, you can feel the frame rate, after, like, especially after like the 3DS games I just played. I mean, the game looks gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I would rather my platformers run at 60 and not 30. So that's my, like, main criticism with this game, outside of, like, it being a very safe entry. Alright. X. Oh yeah, here's one of this game's main mechanics. You can send love to others. And they can become your star allies. That's why this game's called Star Allies. Right, throw a friend a heart to make you them a friends. And then they have love with each other, I guess. Right, okay then, so... Yeah, I'm looking forward to the Forgotten Land. I think that's going to be a great game. You know what annoys me? The menu runs at 60, but not the game itself. Right, so... Use the... Use up to raise your noble blade and work with a friend to add sizzle, zap and blizzard to other and other effects to it. If you've got an icy blade, create ice and smash it with a sword dive. Got a windy blade? Use wind up draft. So yeah, you can add elements to the swords if you have like another, like ally that's like one of the elements. Those guys don't really fall into that criteria, so that doesn't work. How do I discard weapons? Oh, it's the minus button, right. I was so used to, with, like, with the 3DS games, I was so used to pressing X to, like, discard my, my, like, you know, my ability. So I might end up accidentally tossing out a heart for, like, the first hour or so before I realise, oh, it's the minus button to drop shit. I'm surprised that didn't crush Kirby. Not sure if I'll get all the collectibles. We'll see. I mean, even if, even if I don't, I've got like a 100% save fill. You guys saw me like fully complete that game all the way through. And that includes like the 4.0 update and everything before that. So, yeah. How do I get rid of an existing friend? Do I just like add this one and ask me which one to get rid of? Yeah, right, okay, well we don't need two blades. There we go. Attack up! No different text if you're using a different element. You know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to change my controller because Pro Controller, I prefer using D-pads but the Pro Controller D-pad is not that good. I'm going to get my SN30 Pro Controller one second. Where did I set it? Where did I set my SN30 Pro? One sec till I look for it. It's here somewhere. Professional streamer can't even find his controllers. One moment while I look for this.
All right, I found it. Let me just quickly sync the controller up. There we go. Right, that's much better. So yeah, like I said, I enjoyed this game when it first came out. Like, you've seen me, like, fully get everything in this game. Like, everything I had to offer. Both both with the game launch and, like, the post-game, like, free DLC. But looking back on it, this is a much safer Kirby game, like, compared to Robobot. Like, Robobot really raised the bar for what you could do with, like, a gimmick of the game to, like, add a lot of, like, depth and fun to, like, the 2D platforming mechanics. This game, they kind of dial it back a bit, like this one's more like, oh you've got buddies this time and they can, you can like do stuff with them, but it's not really as diverse and interesting. But it's still a Kirby game, it's still fun. I'm gonna... actually I'm, I'm gonna keep Fire Sword. Like I was gonna go get Beam there, but I can wait till the next level. I like how the first thing Mr. Frosty does is just show his ass. Doesn't waste any time at all doing that. Oh yeah, you can smooch. So yeah, these things I'm picking up are puzzle pieces. Thank you, Burning Leo. And I think this is the main collectible. <laughs> you get rid of a friend by playing a game of Mario Party with them. Yeah, that's one way to lose friendships. Speaking of losing friendships, you guys down for Mario Party Superstalls later this month? When do Superstalls come out again? It's like, like what day? It's like at the very end of October, I think. Like a few weeks from now. Oh. Shit. I didn't press that quick enough. Also, Hal Labs really loves this jump minigame, don't they? Like, almost every mainline Kirby game has it. At least all the modern ones do. Like, Return to Dreamland had it, Triple Deluxe had it, Robobot had it, and this game has it. Hi. At least Kirby doesn't go, EW! Right, okay then, so... Yeah, I got... So in this game it seems like the main collectible is just like one puzzle piece. There's also something else there as well, whatever that is. Don't know if I'll get all the collectibles in this one, we'll see. Don't know if I want to go out of my way in this particular game. Oh, that's a, an ability I want to try, water. Oops. A positively refreshing ability that has many applications. Harness the waves and surf along the ground. Enjoy a powered up version of the water gun and carry heavy stones with ease. And make sure you find out what happens if you freeze a fountain. So this ability was from Return to Dreamland. It hasn't been in the previous two Kirby games. This move kind of reminds me of the poison ability. Except it's like a, a geyser of water and not poison. Also check out them water graphics. So yeah, it pretty much plays like the water ability from Returns. I 
Actually, you know what? Nah, we don't need two waters. Sorry, Mr. Kibble. Yeah, the map screen is kind of like Mario 3D World. I did mention that when I saw that. God, I know, like, I know I'm going to get used to it, but I'm sorry. I, I really hate that this game runs at 30 frames per second. It's like, come on, Hell Labs, you got like Return to Dreamland, Triple Deluxe, and Robobot to run at, 30, at 60. Why not this one? But yeah, the game does look nice, but I think I would rather take higher frame rates over nicer graphics. Again, that's like my biggest sticking point with this game, because when I first played the game, like, years ago, I was like, eh, why is this not a 60? Like, I don't mean to sound like... I'm probably coming off as like a frame rate snob or something, but it really is an issue with me personally. Again, I'll get used to it, like, it won't take too long before I just like, you know, deal with it, but it's just like one of those things where... I'm like getting used to this again because it's been years since I played this game and having just played the other Kirby games which all run at 60, like it's kind of a weird thing to get used to. <laughs> I forgot which button it was. Stone. Look cool, be invincible and slide down slopes. You can turn into various things and pound down pegs. You can even do some curling with water or ice or float with your friends to drop on them. Who knows what sort of stone sculptures you'll see. Yeah, I think all the moves are pretty much the same as before. Let's see if I can get any rare transformations. This one's the same. Oh, that's cool. One of the friend transformations. Oh, that's cool. Adeline and Ribbon. The boys. Oh, so you can still do this? Where you just, like, tap the direction to, like, spin it around? Side room. Right, I think curling is needed here. So, this is kind of like combining abilities from like, uh, it's kind of it's kind of like a bit like combining, but not exactly. Like it's not to the same degree as like Kirby sixty four, but it's somewhat like it. I mean, at least they were trying with this one on like Squeak Squad, where it's like, oh, you can combine things, but it doesn't really give you any new powers. It just gives you the same ones. Also, that was Susie. Oh, the Roach. I think I think with the the four update, they like added like all the other playable characters as like transformations. So get ready to see a bunch of those happen. We'll see like Gooey and the Animal Buddies. Speaking of, there's Dark Meta Knight. Of course, we've got like the buff Muscle Man. Who? Oh, that's the. Oh, it's like the, the Ultra Sword, but it's like Kirby with the fish. Right, well, I guess we got to see that, at least during the Kirby-thon. Hang on a second. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I can zoom in on the Switch, I just remembered. Fish! Fresh fish! We catch them, you buy them!
There's the, the rare collectible. There we go, that was easy. One other thing that I kind of like, I, I know I'm going to sound like more like critical of this game even though I still like it, but one other criticism I had with this game is no online multiplayer. It's like, why though? Like this, this game with like, you know, the emphasis on like playing with like buddies, it seems like the perfect game to have online multiplayer. But yeah, for some reason this game lacked that. Not even the post-game content added it in, so a little bit of a shame. Dream Palace open. You push the big switch and that opens the Dream Palace on the world map. I guess that was the other thing that I was looking out for. That one you can't really miss. Yeah, maybe Forgotten Lands can have it. I really don't know about that one. Like, Forgotten Lands being like a, a three-dimensional Kirby game, I could see that one being more just focused on single player. But you know, this one being a 2D game with up to th three other characters on screen at once, you think they would have been... Maybe maybe they did consider like online multiplayer, but they couldn't get the netcode to, to work or something, I don't know. I mean, it's not so much a Nintendo thing, it's more so a HAL Labs thing since they made this game. I guess we can just chalk it up to Nintendo's like shitty online service though. Which, by the way, I'm still considering getting that Nintendo 64 package. Like, I, I need to wait for the pricing details first. Alright. So yeah, the rare pieces fill in the middle, I think. And the, the regular pieces you find are like random, those just fill the outer parts. Hello. Right, so I can summon special friends here. I can't, I don't think I can place them directly, but I can like change into, like I can have other characters play with, with me. Right, so this is the Dream Palace. You can meet a Dream character here if you use the Dream Rods. When you grab the Dream Rod, the roulette will start. Press A to call the Dream Friends. Let's see what I get. Kinda want to get Marks. Okay, we got Bandana Waddle Dee. The least interesting of all of Kirby's friends, I'm sorry to say. Uh, Bye Bomb. I'm gonna keep the two elements with me, and I've already got bomb anyway, so. So yeah, let's talk about, like, I know I just finished, like, talking about it, but since we're, like, playing a Kirby game right now, might as well talk about it here a bit. What did you guys think of that final Smash character? Like, I think it was a pretty good... It was a pretty good final crossover character, I must say. But I know some people are going to be disappointed regardless. Because that's the way things go. There it is, the mischievous yo-yo. Yo-Yo up, Yo-Yo orbit, break spin, and the dog. It's called, it's all child's play. Add an attribute and make it even more powerful with a variety of moves at your disposal. Looking cool's never been easier. So this ability came from Superstar, so they brought this back, which is cool. Yo-Yo was fun to use. Walk the dog, left or right. Oh, I see, you have to like do, walk the dog first. Hold down, press B. <laughs> there you go, I'm walking the dog. I'm 
burn to the grounds. I was wondering why I couldn't move there for a second and then realised I was still stuck in the cannon. Oh, so that's Kirby 64 music, isn't it? Like the mini boss theme? Oh. Alright, thank you Burning Leo for grabbing that. I like that move. The one where you just like go upwards. Good for hitting airborne enemies or bosses. But yeah, this game would have been great to have online multiplayer, or... But like, I could have seen an alternate timeline where they ported, like, Return to Dreamland to the Switch with, like, online multiplayer on it. Which, you know, that's never gonna happen, but I can dream. Because that game's also probably a lot of fun to play with other people. Indiana Jones, but not really. Let's watch them all fall to their doom. Bye, Waddle Dees. I can't believe the entire population of Dreamland is fucking dead. Might as well power everybody up then, if that's the case. Make the cool whip even cooler. Co cooler. Cool whip! Brian, you've got to try this cool whip! Like, I can't, I can't do a story voice. I say that like I can do all the voices, I can't really just do any voice. I've got like a whole team of fire people now. Oh. Also, I've got 16 lives already. This game... Like I was talking about how like... Triple Deluxe gives you like a bunch of lives and then like Robobot gives you even more lives. This game, like, I've barely started the game and I already have, like, over 15 lives. What the fuck? Like, I know Kirby games are not that hard, but come on. At least let me earn half of these lives first. Extra stage open. But don't worry, it will get trickier later, like Kirby games usually do. Thank you. 
There we go. Oh, maybe that's why I've got so many lives. I think if one of my partners dies, it like costs a life. That could be the reason. I'm still conflicted with this game running at 30, especially if like this particular screen runs at like 60. Like, it's not like they couldn't, you know, pare down the graphics a little bit so that it would, like, run smoother. I mean, what was the game that came out after this on Switch? Like, Kirby Fighters 2 or something? That game uses the same engine, and that game runs at 60. Oh, so people, like, if humans die, then it costs a life, right? Right, well, I guess I'll be getting 99 lives very easily, then, if that's the case. Also, classic song. Uh, I'll take that. Some battle back up from the village of ninjas. Add a friend's power to the sword and knives to slash the wind, fire, and other attributes. Has a ninja ever been seen wielding such elemental blades? Impressive. Also, this is the green green theme from the original Kirby game. Smokescreen. Is Blossom Storm in here? Yep, Blossom Storm, that's like my favourite move. Shake the water off it to attack with a splash or enjoy a floaty flight through the sky. Open it with up to protect you and your friends from, delu from deluges and waterfalls. Is there anything chummier than sharing an umbrella? So yeah, this, this thing sprays water. Gotta go this way. I like how the other guys are just like, yeah, let's burn shit, like, as soon as they see grass. Did I miss a key? Guess I missed a key back here. Um, anyone see where the key went? Oh, must be up here then. There it is. <laughs> 
fucking banner than what would eat, please. This game makes me wish Smash had actual stages like in Bro. Let's power up my umbrella. Chumbrella. Nice. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that that was being lit. Fuck. I wasn't paying attention to that. Light that again. So I'm guessing like the, the couple previous Kirby games, the extra stage or the EX stage or whatever it's called, has like music from older Kirby games because this is like Kirby's Dreamland music we're listening to right now. something back there. Or not. Nah, I guess not. Like, uh, there was a bunch of, like, bricks they destroyed before that pit. I thought there was, like, something behind those. Don't mind me doing that, like, forward lunge attack. Like, it makes me move faster. Oh yeah, so that um, Smash Brothers clone the Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl came out today. I saw like, I saw like Hungry Box on Twitch playing a little bit of it. I don't really watch his content, but I was just curious to see who was playing it today. And yeah, Hungry Box, like the guy known for like playing Jigglypuff and Smash, he was playing it for a bit. Hey there, bonkers. A giant hammer inherited from the king himself that can pound pegs flat. You can charge it up for a pulverizing bowl, but be careful not to overdo it. Imbue it with a friend's power and use it to fight. How do I make the hammer big? Vividria. So who's this character? Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Right, here's a new ability. Artist, set out on a voyage of training with a colourful paintbrush on your side. Materialize yummies to share with your friends, like magic. Art has the power to save the worlds. Right, okay. Sculpture down, down up B. Press B after sculpture, creative destruction. <laughs> Hold down plus Y for paintbrush. Oh yeah, don't some of these sculptures have like references to old games? Like I think this is from Triple Deluxe. 
Like the dream stock. <laughs> oh. Smashed the pot. I didn't even like tell him to do that, he just smashed it himself. Oh yeah, you can do this. NES Meta Knight. <laughs> there's like a bunch of them, I think. There's like a big fat Kirby one you can summon. There's King DDD. NES Meta Knight. Yeah, there it is! I remember that one. <laughs> Just like gigantic Kirby. Which I'm guessing is from 3D Blast. Like, I think that's in the thumbnail for one of my old VODs, if I remember. It's much easier to get number one in this game compared to, like, Triple Deluxe or Robobot. Is it going to be in the thumbnail for this too? I'm not sure yet. Right, so boss time, I guess. I've got all the collectibles so far. Fruity Forest. I should have recruited them. I just realised one of my allies is dead, so I need to get a new one. There we go. I don't know if there's flavor text for the allies. Mm, doesn't seem like it. No. No, everybody has invincibility. That was easy. My friend is dead, better get a new one. Oh yeah, that's right. You can do that. Nice callback to Crystal Shards. The ice plus electric ability. We no longer need you, Bandana Waddle Dee, we've got a replacement. Wait, what button is Y? It's that one? Wait, what? Oh, we can, we can change what we've got? Right, I see. I'm, I'm just going to keep the paint ability. Right, well, big surprise, the first boss is Wispy Woods. Again. Give Whip his fire back. 
I don't think I can do that with this thing right now. Go get him, King D. <laughs> get him, fat Kirby. <laughs> that kind of like that explosion timing kind of looked like Kirby collided with him, like just smacked him in the face. Oops, wrong button. Right, I don't think that's the end of world boss, I think that's like more of a, a mid boss. Because there's still more to this world, so I'm guessing the end boss will be up there. Oh yeah, I, I remember this boss fight actually. There's a very specific reason I remember this boss. You'll see why, for those that have not seen this game before. Sorry, Bandana Waddle Dee, you're out. You've had more than enough screen time, it's time for somebody else to get their turn. body. Do you think with the, uh, like, now that we're getting like a 3D Kirby game, do you think they're gonna do what Mario Odyssey did and like just do away with the extra lives entirely? Like if you die you just like respawn and there's like no real punishment for it other than just like retrying that part of the game? Suplex. A fighter with an indomitable spirit. Use a pinpoint kick or dash to attack. You can also grab enemies and stars and then hurl them away. You can then hurl them away. Yeah! Grab friends with up and then fling them to smash the hardest of rocks. So Suplex makes a return. <laughs> suplex! Suplex! Yeah, lives are kind of irrelevant when you've got this many. Like, how many do I have right now? 21? Like, I barely started the game and I already have, like, almost... Assuming that the game caps at 99, I already have more than 20% of the maximum. There we go. Knuckle Joe is fucking dead. Oh. 
Oh, so there is something up there. See that? There's, there's like something... Oh wait a minute, I'm looking at that wrong, like... You see those diamond things above me? I thought that was like a window into something behind it, but no, that's just like a reflection. Derp. Like, I thought there was like something hidden inside that wall. So it seems like they've cut down on the collectibles in this game, which you know what I'm kind of thankful for after having played the other games recently. Because it's like, oh, just find what one rare puzzle piece and that's it. And occasionally find a switch. I like this move. This move's a lot of fun to use. <laughs> like, watch this. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to throw your friends. Right, I think we're in the throne room now. Smooch. I do like that you can switch out who gets to be who. Oh, that's cool. Electrified whip. There he is. His royal nemesis, King DDD. I like those, like, sort of comic style, like, intro screens for the bosses in this game. It's a nice art style. Right, you ready for phase two? Check this out. This is why I remember this boss fight specifically. Oh yeah, time to get swallow! Muscle milk! What is it with King DDD like getting possessed or like transformed or kidnapped in Kirby games? I guess this is the result of that one episode where he gets really fat and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna work out. Oh, hey there, Cave Story Guy. Yep, creation of a meme. Very ridiculous looking this. Just seeing, like, massive swole DDD. By the way, remember when I told you this game may not be as long as Planet Robobot or Triple Deluxe? Well, I wasn't kidding, there you go. Right, well that's me finished the game, that ends the Kirby-thon. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a fun past two weeks, I've really enjoyed it.
Nah, it's not the end there. I, I do like that, like, you know, making fun of the end credits sort of thing. Just fake out. Of course, the game's just beginning. I'm guessing it's meant to be a callback to, like, Dreamland 1, where it's like, you get to King DDD, you beat him, and then that's the end of the game. We've still got another, I don't know how long this game is, like another five, six hours of this, at the very least. Right, so I think I got all the collectibles in World 1. Now I can add King DDD. Oh, I can play the, some of the DLC characters as well, or have them as dream friends. Yep, I got everything in World 1. Sadly, I can't play as the Dream Friends in the single player mode. I have to like play the side content to play as them. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about this. You can like fly around Popstar on the map screen. I mean, the presentation's really nice. Clean in this game? I, I f don't remember, remember if they are. Hang on. Yep, cleaning's in this game, finally. Cleaning, fly about the sky on your broom and sweep up a breeze to blow fallen leaves and enemies away. You can even put out flames with a bucket full of water, and perhaps old friends will pop up to help you scrub. Oh, hi, it's uh, Choo Choo from Dreamland 3. I forgot they referenced that specifically in this moveset. There's Pitch. <laughs> yeah, they reference like some of the Dreamland 3 characters there. In super vac. Oh god, it's like the suplex, but like three times. That's pretty cool. Oh. Yeah, th this game is very safe after like Robobot. Like, I do agree with that. You're not wrong. It's still a fun game, don't get me wrong. It's just after like Planet Robobot. Did I miss a chest? Oh well. Don't care. Maybe. Damn it. I d I sorry, I vine blinded, I didn't see it. This is what happens when I divide my attention for one second. I would highly recommend Planet Robobot. That game is a blast. Easily one of the best Kirby games out there. Oh yeah, I forgot to make the tier list thing. I'm gonna have to like do that. Like, how easy is it to like put together a tier list sort of thing? Because I was thinking of doing that at the end of today's stream. I completely forgot to have that ready. Would it be too much trouble if somebody in chat could make one of those for me? Like, just a tier list showing all the mainline Kirby games so I can, like, you know, put them in the list. Is this the chip? Kirby, please. I guess I can't go down that. Was that the chest, or...?
Right, well, it wasn't the rare item, so it didn't really matter too much. Just for the flavor text. Just a few more minutes, please. I mean, just let me sleep. If you need to wake me up, just ask a friend to hit me. <laughs> Friends pop the nose balloon to wake Kirby up. I do like that the cleaning ability, like, references the other three animal bodies. Like, most people know this. Like, Kirby's Dream Land 2 introduced, like, three of Kirby's original animal bodies, like, Kainku and, uh, Rick. But then Kirby's Dream Land 3 had, like, three more animal bodies on top of that. Those ones you don't really see that often in Kirby games. So this moveset specifically or it references those other three. Can you get a friend of one of those sleep enemies? You know, I didn't even consider that. Something tells me that wouldn't work, but I could try it next time I see one. Blister Cutter. When I saw the word Blister, and the first letter of the next word was like C, which by the way not the same as the letter K but it sounds the same, my first thought was Blister Kong. You know, I've never watched a single episode of that uh, Donkey Kong animated series. I know it's bad. Might be fun to watch if I have nothing better to do. Hang on a second. Do your thing. Sir Kibble, please. There we go. Like, the most I've seen of the Donkey Kong cartoon was, like, you know, the, the songs, or, like, some of the songs. Like, because we all know the, the infamous one, like, Shower You With Coconut Cream Pies. There we go. Dream Palace Switch, I think. Yep, Dream Palace now open. I haven't got the, the rare jigsaw piece yet, have I? I don't think I missed it. Oh yeah, I think this, this is about to happen next, the co-op technique. So here's one of the, the other things you can do with your friends. Friend circle. So yeah, you just press the jump button to jump. 
It's like the minecart segments in Kirby 64, except you're like wrecking shit along the way. There we go. And there's the rare puzzle piece. Yeah, they just pretty much give you that one. Yep, speeding with friends. Again, it's very easy to get number one in this game after like the last couple. Also, that red and blue balloon in the background there on the left kind of reminds me of Mark's. Kind of looks like his hat. Maybe that's the reference. Right, let's see what dream friend we can get this time. I'll see if I can get the Roach. Or Adeline. I'll try to get one of those too. There we go. Goodbye, Bugsy. Next time I'll make I might do like marks. Again, I can't play as these characters, unfortunately. Like, you have to be, like, player 2, 3, or 4 to play as those characters. I can only play as them as player 1 if I do, like, some of the side content and not the main story mode. Because in the main story, you have to be Kirby. If I have time at the end of this, like, after I finish the main story, I might try some of the other characters. You can go back to the Dream Palace after you finish a level. I could, I could do that, maybe. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Nice. <laughs> well done, the roach. Has like a thing to freeze the water. I think what you're supposed to do is get the parasol and block it with the chumbrella move, but that works too. Sometimes they give you multiple solutions. I do like a game that gives you like multiple ways of dealing with something. I know I've been complaining about the frame rate of this game, but it does it's a nice looking game. You can tell it's got, like, like Hell Labs have always been good with, like, good art direction in, like, their games. Like, the Wii game, Return to Dreamland, looked really good for a Wii game. But yeah, whatever graphical engine they're using for this particular game, it is a nice looker. It's just a shame it's running at 30, though. I, I wanted to run at 60. I'm sorry I won't let that go, but, you know, it means a lot to me. 
to have like a platformer running like silky smooth. Something tells me the Forgotten Land will also run at 30, but at least in that game's case, it's got the excuse of being a 3D game. Why this game was stuck to 30, I will never understand. Especially when like Triple Deluxe and Robobot both run flawlessly at 60, even with the 3D on. Oh wait a minute, we got a fire already. Never mind. You know what? I'm gonna... Not that one. I wanna get Umbrella. The Roach could probably freeze both of those, but yeah, you can block it using the Chumbrella. Essentially, this is the only game you've ever fully completed. Yeah, I could see that. This game is like one of the easier ones to get everything in. Extra stage open. Alright, we'll do that next. So when you see one of those doors, it requires at least two people to open. Because you need one on the top side and one on the bottom side to, like, progress. I like how the music muffles when you're underwater. Oh, hey, Chef Kawasaki. Oh, 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 that's fine. You see, in the old Kirby games, when the mini boss accidentally dies, you can't get the ability from it, but in this game, they actually just make it drop the ability for you to grab. So, cook a long, last, long lost technique is rediscovered. Combine different ingredients to whip up all kinds of dishes. Chuck in a friend or two and let it simmer and serve and voila! For a little extra spice, hold the button longer to bring it to a broil and boom, massive damage. So in this game it's not a one time use like Crash, like this one actually has like some uses it seems like. I think. I mean, there's not a lot of moves still, but, you know. Kirby boiling everybody alive, including his friends. Supper party. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, it is, a one it's, it is one time use, at least that move is. Again, very easy to get on number one. Like, I had a lot of trouble timing number one in, like, Return to Dreamland, and this one it's quite simple. 
right, that, I think the rare piece will fill those last three bits. Wait, did I get the rare piece? I thought I did. Did I miss it? Oh shit, I did miss it. Fuck. Ah uh, yes, loud vehicles passing by, my favourite. Good, good noises. I'm, I think my microphone picked that up there. Anyone see what that rare piece was? Not in that room. Oh yeah, that's one you can use underwater. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, so I got Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. I'm gonna be streaming that tomorrow, more than likely. Like, assuming that I stream tomorrow night, I might take like a day off or something because I've been doing like Kirby streams for almost every single day for the last two weeks. But if I do stream tomorrow night, it's more than likely gonna be that and Sonic Colors Ultimate. I'm gonna have to like buy like. I bought the game physically, but there's like a DLC pack I want to buy with like the OG music from the GameCube game. Because I think I want to listen to that soundtrack in particular, I don't want to listen to like the modern soundtrack. It's still a bit scummy, they make you pay for that if you didn't get Digital Deluxe, but whatever. Just let the roach take care of this for me. Alright. Weird how he set that thing on fire first before freezing the other one. Also, Sir Kibble's almost dead. So, let me check what was in here again because I may have missed it. Now nah, was that switch? We pressed it already. I mean, more puzzle pieces, sure, but... Right, I think it may... I don't, I don't know if it's through that door, if it's like back here. No, I, I think it's through that door. Yeah, just looking around the screen to see if I didn't see it. Like, cause it may have shown up on the screen, I just didn't realise it. Maybe it's back over here. Nah. It doesn't hurt to be to be thorough, I guess, just to be sure. Maybe it was under the bridge. Let me just get rid of Kawasaki first. Hmm. 
No. Oh, there it was. I, I can't fucking believe I didn't notice that. I was too overwhelmed with the with the supper party that I didn't see it. Because a lot of shit was happening on screen at once. The fact that nobody in chat noticed it either kind of tells you a lot about that one. Again, that cookability kind of like just overloaded our senses and we couldn't see it was there. <laughs> like we saw like a bunch of collectibles and shit and didn't realize, oh, the jigsaw piece is like right below us. Anyway, I've got it now. That should fill those last three spots. There you go. First picture complete. The first rival. So this is like a callback to the old art style. Like the OG Kirby art style. I think I got all these pictures in my like original save file. Before we do this level real quick, what am I looking for? Because I wasn't paying attention there. I think it's just one rare puzzle piece. Yeah, it's one rare puzzle piece, no switches. Oh, yo, yo. I was trying to have somebody imbue my umbrella with fire. Didn't, not exactly the best place to be trying to do that. Right, so here's a new ability to the series, Spider. What predator is more impressive? None shall escape a hunt. Such a, none shall escape such a hunter. You can spin threads with skill to execute the friend bounce, which will get your friends to jump high. Ready, set, jump. Net to work. Also, this is Kirby's uh, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland music, Game Boy Advance. It's kind of morbid that, just like seeing, you know, these cute little characters. Okay, well that doesn't... I can't recruit the, the sleeping one. Right, well there's your answer then. Green Yoshi guy. Friend bounce. You can tell from the, the music, like the sound of the music, that it's like from a Game Boy game. Like this is Dreamland 2 music. So I've been watching a little bit, like, since last night's stream, I've been watching a little bit of, like, Vinny playing Triple Deluxe. And eventually I'll, I'll re-watch him playing Robobot and then this game. Just since I've, I've been, like, in the Kirby mood, mood lately and, like, playing these games. Like, because I've seen him play, like... Planet Robobot and Star Allies before, but I've never seen his playthrough of Triple Deluxe, so that's like a first for me.
It is. That was easy. So yeah, sorry about last night, like last night when I streamed uh, Planet Robobot, like for the first half of the stream I was like starting to feel like I was running on fumes, like I was not talking that much and I was like feeling a little bit tired, like I, I was just kind of tired yesterday. But during the break I had like an energy drink and like a snack to like keep me going, that kind of helped me pick back up for the latter half of the stream. So yeah, if you were wondering why I was like kind of sounding a bit out of it, that was the reason, so yeah, sorry about that. I'm feeling much better today, I got like plenty of rest last night, I slept for like 7 hours, which that's pretty much all I need, like I don't need to sleep for like 10 hours, like 7 hours is enough for me to like fully recharge. Oh hey look, classic artwork of like Kirby and uh, Koo from Dreamlands. Take that. Warning, danger! This is the ultimate weapon! One attack and you'll be blown away. Pull your friends into a crash rush, waggle the stick to charge it up for extra danger. Now everyone's really frantic. Use crash fireball or supernova when your friends are with you, crash rush. Alright. Oh wait, you can, wait a minute. You can piggyback with others? How do you do that? Jump on top of your friend, right piggyback. Oh, I see, you've got to hold down to do it, so... I can kind of play as other characters if I do this. There you go. Oh, here we go, we can see the, the lore text. The illustrious thief from Kirby Squeak Squad is back, and there's nothing he can't or won't steal. If making friends is all it takes to find some treasure, this... Perloiner is happy to tag along with the Squeak Squad in tow. So yeah, let's have a look at his moves. I forgot that you could like, you know, piggyback on someone to like control them. It's good that you can do that in, in the main story modes. Down B in midair for triple star. Let me just use Crash real quick and then I'm gonna like piggyback one of the other ones for a while. I'm, I'm mainly just be piggybacking like the star allies, like you know the dream allies. Because they're kind of the important ones. Oh my god, that frame rate! Everybody fucking dies. I got the hidden puzzle piece in this level, right? I 
forgot if I picked it up. I think I did. I think it was in that room with like the spider webs. Yeah, I did get it. Oh yeah, there's something else about last night's stream that I should apologise for. Like, I was gonna say, like, last night I forgot to check out the boss lore for like half of the bosses in the game, and at the end of the, like, near the end of the stream when I was fighting the final boss, I was like, I'll go back and check these. Forgot to do it, because you know, I'm a very forgetful person. So yeah, sorry about that. Hang on a second. I keep forgetting to pay attention to what I'm looking for in this level. Professional gamer. Okay, just one rare piece, no switches. Yeah, it seems like in this game they've greatly scaled back on the collectibles, which I'm fine with. Because sometimes it's a bit annoying when you get like two of them and then the last one you miss like at the very end of the level. Forcing you to like do the entire level all over again. See, it's a very simple Kirby game, but it's still fun. Like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like be nice about it. Like, I'm, I'm not saying oh, this game sucks. It doesn't. Like, there's, like I said last night, there isn't a single bad Kirby game. It's just a far more safe Kirby game than most of the other ones. Like Planet Robobot, that's kind of a tough act to follow. And I'm guessing when this game was being worked on, they already had plans for, like, the Forgotten Land to be, like, you know, their big, like, ambitious Kirby game. So it's kind of, like, you could, if you think about it from that perspective, it's kind of understandable why this game was so relatively reserved in scope and scale. But, yeah, in the end, it's, like, it's a good thing because, like I said, like, Forgotten Land, we'll be getting that real soon, and that game looks really good. Keep forgetting that's not the button. No, there we go. There are three songs to sing with resounding enthusiasm. Store up power to pump up the volume. Sing with your friends for explosive harmony. Gather multiple singers for a glorious chorus. Hey there, penguin. You stand or make or encore with a friend nearby, Fatal Chorus. I'm guessing there's a mini boss coming up. Yep. Right, here we go, Fatal Chorus. It's like that team blast from like Sonic Heroes. Give me fire hammer, please. Thank you, the roach. 
Oh, that's ice. I mean, sure, why not? We'll do ice. Well, <laughs> except no, not really. The roach, I swear to God. Okay, finally. I don't think I found the rare puzzle piece yet. I don't think I've passed passed it by. Don't know if I needed that. have to forgive me for a second because I want to check something. Hammer or Bluster Hammer. I'm assuming this will wait. Oh no, wait a minute. That just takes you to the next part of the level. That doesn't lead to, you know, the thing. The, the rare puzzle piece that I'm looking for. be it. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, I thought that was like one of those things where you swap your abilities around. This is like a friend thing. Yeah, I forgot about this. Friend bridge. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that's not the rare piece here either. Either, either. It should be somewhere along this area, I think.
So yeah, even though this is the last game game on the Kirby Thon, there is still like a bunch of Kirby games that I didn't stream during it, including some spin-offs that I was originally going to do, but I kind of like changed my mind and like removed them from the lineup. So yeah, never say never. I could always do those in the future as like you know their own individual streams if I feel so inclined. Maybe a second marathon with the spin-offs? Maybe. I mean, the main point of the marathon was to play all the mainline games at the very least. Like, I was just filling it out with, like, some extra stuff. So yeah, I did get the rare collectible here. I don't like the name of this level. So this one has a rare puzzle piece plus a switch, so we have to look out for that as well. This kind of looks like Dangerous Dinner from Return to Dreamlands. Oh. Flying's in this game. Or wing. I, I keep calling it the flying ability, but it's the same difference. There's no better feeling than taking your friends and soaring through the skies on your back, controlling the winds at will. Change up weapons with gusts of wind to create an, a current, an air, a great air current, and shoot up to the heavens. Yeah, it's all the same moves. There you go. Music for this area is pretty good. It's better than that dubstep music for the lava level that was in like Triple Deluxe. Mini boss time? Not exactly. dying. We might get another 3D Kirby game if you did. Maybe in a few years. It's nice to see other companies like starting to take chances with like franchises that have otherwise become very like, you know, safe, for lack of a better term. There's probably a better word for it, but I can't think of it. Oh wait a minute, it tells you down there. I need wind plus ninja. Oh shit! I just got. Wait. That's right. I'm wind. I was going to say I got rid of Cleaning, who can also do the wind element, but the bot can do it as well. But yeah, it's nice to see, like, some of, like, like Nintendo's like different studios like taking chances with their franchises now. 
Like, I love Pokemon. You guys know I like Pokemon, but even after, like, I, as much as I, like, I enjoyed Sword and Shields, but we were getting to the point where it was like, yeah, this is becoming a lot of the same thing over and over, isn't it? Like, we need to see them do something new, something, you know, take it in a different direction. And now we're going to get Pokemon Legends Arceus in, like, early next year, so... Now Kirby is, like, joining in terms of, like, doing, like, you know, a more bold and different direction for, like, the franchise. I'm trying to, like, go in that door there. There we go. If you press up as Wing Kirby, you, like, flap. So I have to, like, time that. Otherwise I would, like, flap above the door. Nice. Got everything. Also, who is about to die? Dribbly is about to die. Oof. Dribbly, please. There we go. Still looking for the rare puzzle piece, but I found that at least extra stage opens. Oh, nice, that recovers everybody's health. Right, that's good. We're all doing fine now. I wonder what franchise next will end up like doing something different, you know, from the norm. Like, it depends on the franchise, because some things it's fine, like, doing the same thing over and over, because there's not that many games in the series, like Splatoon, for example. Yeah, Yoshi could do with a rebooting. I'd like to see, like, something different with, like, the Yoshi series. Yoshi's had very hit and miss, like, a very hit and miss track record with his games. Like, the last good Yoshi game was Yoshi Crafted World on... Not Crafted World, what was the one on the Wii U? Uh, Woolly World? That one was pretty good. Crafted World? Eh, not so much. I mean, it was fine, but not as good. But most of the Yoshi games haven't been that great, sadly. Like, Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Island DS and Woolly World were the good ones, in my opinion. Everything else has been pretty bad. I mean, Crafted World technically isn't a bad Yoshi game, it was just kind of a mediocre Yoshi game. Guessing the rare puzzle piece is up here. Yep, there it is. I'm just gonna finish the level now, I don't need any of that extra stuff. I've got 46 lives, I think I'm good. Yeah, never came anywhere close to finishing Crafted World. Like, I streamed that when it first came out. Didn't really do anything for me. It was like one of those cases where it's like after one or two streams I was just done with it. I was like, yeah, no thanks. I streamed Woolly World all the way through though. I don't know if I still have the VODs for Woolly, Woolly World because that was like years ago. Like many, many years ago. When did Woolly World come out? Like 2016? Or 2015? It was like a couple years before the Switch came out, I think. Sacred. What's that say? I didn't quite read that. Duplex Dream.
what music is this? Kirby's Dreamland 2, I think. Oh, so it takes me a minute to remember it's not the Y button, the the X button, sorry. It's the the select button slash minus. Yeah, this is Kirby Dreamland 2 music. Yeah, Yoshi's Woolly World was very good. Great game offensive. Again, even though the Kirby-thon will be finishing after today's stream, I will still do like a part 2 to Superstar Ultra to like check out the stuff I didn't do during that. Blame the Great Cave Offensive for like making me not check out everything in a single sitting. Like I was just burnt out after the Great Cave Offensive because I hate that game mode. Like, what is the general consensus for the Great Cave Offensive? Do people like that game mode, or do they think that's, like, the worst part of the game? Because for me, it's, like, the worst. Like, I, I really don't like it. I don't know, like, the, the Great Cave Offensive feels like a chore to me, and yet I love, like, amazing, like, mirror. Like, to me, amazing mirror is basically what Great Cave Offensive should have been. Like, I think a make Amazing Mirror hits all the right notes, whereas a Great Cave Offensive was, like, kind of a shit show. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just a me thing, but that's kind of how I feel on that. Give me fire, please. Thank you. That's me got everything in the level. I could still do the, the tier list thing at the end of today's stream, I just need someone to remind me to do it. And I could like take a five minute break to get that set up. Look like worldies there. Just like getting blown away by that draft of wind. Like Waddle D is the most tragic character in like all of like the Kirby series. Like just everything bad happens to them. Also, what is this? Shit. Hang on. So here's a new ability that I forgot about. Festival Honk Toot Bamity Bam. This ability creates a festival of drums and horns which makes everyone break into a wild dance. Gather your all-star friends and have a party. Oh, is it like a one-time use thing? Yeah, seems like it is. You ready for me to do something dumb? One second. The 
this is this is not even going to be worth the effort, but. You'll see where I'm going with this. Let me group all this together actually so it's easier to work with. Like, you'll, you'll see where I'm going with this. Like, I know it doesn't look like anything's happening, but just wait and see. Right? Hang on. Sorry, there's something... Some, something... Like I'm, I'm trying to, like, get something to work. It's not working. The fuck? Ah, right, that's what's going on. Right, okay. This is gonna be so fucking stupid. Like, you'll probably be asking, why the fuck did you waste, like, five minutes of our time doing this? You're a terrible streamer. Again, I know it doesn't look like anything's happening, but you'll see. Like, this is like, Vine Sauce Joe levels of, like, jokery that I'm about to do, except it's not as funny, and it took me, like, ten times as long as he would probably do it. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> it was not fucking worth it. That was the payoff. That will probably be in the thumbnail somewhere. Also, here's what this does. Gonna use cleaning. Should have saved it for the mini bosses, but eh, whatever. So much stalls. Yeah, if Joel did a, a joke like that, he would do it in like one minute. It took me like what three, four, five minutes to like get that set up. I'm very bad at, like, doing, like, OBS editing on the fly. I mean, to be fair, he doesn't use OBS, he uses XSplit, which I think makes it easier to, like, do that stuff really quickly. I've never used XSplit, like, that's paid software. I have considered it, but I've never tried it. OBS is free, and is quite a good piece of software as is, so, that, like, I'm good enough with that, I think. Sacred Square is what that said.
what is this? Oh yeah, this is like a shmup thing, kind of. Yeah, I forgot about this. It's not exactly a shmup, but it's kind of like a shmup style sort of movement thing. Friend star. When friends combine the powers, a sparkling flutter star appears. Now everyone can shoot stars that fly across the land and sky. Take turns using it with the X button and have the friend in front shoot the weak, the weak spot. Right or switch X button. Ah, oh, I see. Right, okay then. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. I didn't mean to replace the roach. I can go back to the dream palace and get someone else anyway. I think I'll try and get marks next time I go back there. Checking if there's anything over there. There isn't. Yeah, there's one back in the first world as well. Grab that again. Uh, oh, there it is. That's where the rare piece was. Right, I think the boss fight is coming in shortly. Or rather, the the boss fight is incoming, not coming in. I am good with English. You'd think, why, why are you so bad at speaking English? Like, you, like, why are you so bad at English? Like, English is your first language. No, I'm not English, I'm Scottish. I love how I can't even set up a joke correctly. Uh, I'm gonna switch these characters around, let's see. I will be Carr. Call back to Superstar. Hello, Meta Knights.
versus Meta Knight. Corrupted by the power of the Dark Heart, Meta Knight's dedication to the purity of combat has been eclipsed by a secret wild streak that's always lurked within him. This once hidden fury is now unleashed with every stab and thrust of his sword. Did I check the lore for King Dedede? I don't know if I did that. I think I forgot. Did I forget to do it for Wispy? Right, I'll, I could check both of them on the way back, I guess. Oh. Oh yeah, you can revive your teammates. Ow. Here it comes. Okay, how many times have we done that to his mask now? We keep, like, breaking his mask off. That poor guy goes through masks quicker than most people go through socks. Oh, hey there, Rocky. Oh, you didn't get to see the Sora reveal? Yeah, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Pretty good character choice. Oh yeah, this thing. That's where we're going next. So I think I got all the collectibles in World 2, by the looks of things. Meta Knight is now in Dream Palace. Also Magolor, Taranza and Susie. Excellent. The Fortress of Shadows, Jim Bastion. Even the stoic Meta Knight has fallen prey to the enemy's evil influence and now their foreboding fortress has suddenly appeared. Why did they come to this land? Why? Undeterred, Kirby and his friends charge toward with gusto. Uh, let me just quickly see if I got everything. Yeah, I got everything. We're gonna get a new dream friend now. In fact, you know what? We can we can get two dream friends. We'll get one from each area. Have you un ever understood some of the Jam Bastion language? I didn't know you could understand that. Let's see if I can get marks. There we go.
The famous jester from Kirby Superstar has finally arrived to get in on the action. Sure, he's had a diabolical past as a final boss, but he'll be your buddy if you keep him truly well fed. It's a dream come true. Yeah, we didn't get to see, like, this is, like, there is a game in Superstar called Milky Way Wishes and he's the final boss in that game. So, yeah, we didn't do that during the Kirby-thon, but I, again, I will be doing a part two to uh, Superstar Ultra, so you can see that then. How do I do that ultimate move again? Black hole, press and hold B during Radiant Flight, then release. A in midair for Radiant Flight. There we go! <laughs> I like that that's one of the moves in this game. I'm gonna go back to the first area and use that Dream Fountain. Or the Dream Palace, sorry. so that we can get another dream ally. I'm assuming you can use more than one, like, per level. Yep, there's one here as well. Right, let's try and get Adeline this time. Adeline and Ribbon. Sure. Kinda weird that they pair those two together, but they are Kirby 64 characters, so that's fine. Uh, goodbye, Dribbly. Adeline and Ribbon. The wait is over. The clever artist and her fairy companion from Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards, are back on Planet Popstar. They may not be the galaxy's most powerful duo, but their perilous paintings and shiny crystals are nothing to scoff at. Use Addo's Painter to draw a boss and ride it into battle. Let's see, down, hold down, release, and then B, Painter. Press down and hold B, and then release. <laughs> so we could just like piggyback on the boss, is Kirby's piggyback on that? Yeah. Kirby piggybacking Adeline, piggybacking Crackle. Sure, why not? Right, let's continue. We'll go to Gem Bastion now. Bon Gem is the greeting in Gem Bastion. Gatehouse Roads. Right, one rare puzzle piece in this level, no secret switches. Oh, I see the Psy abilities back. I don't know if it's pronounced Psy or PSI, but I'll, I'm just going to call it Psy because it's quicker to say. So yeah, the Psy ability from Robobot is in this game as well. Or is it ESP, sorry? ESP is what it's called, not Psy. But a lot of the attacks are called Psy, or PSI. Oh 
god, Mark's doing the black hole move already. We're not even fighting like a, a mini boss or a boss yet. Oh. Adeline, please. Fresco. Nice little reference to Kirby 64's picnic blanket. You sent me some translations, I'll have a look at them in a little bit then. Alright, I'll see you later, Rocky. Thanks for dropping by. You take care. Yeah, he really loves using that attack. There it is. Giant door. Sadly, a door you cannot walk through a mech with. You could, you could be. What? Sadly, a door that you cannot walk through with a giant mech. There is no mechs in this game. The one really cool thing about Planet Robobot, and we'll probably never see it again in a future Kirby game. I don't know, maybe they'll make a callback to it. Speaking of callbacks, these guys were in Kirby's Dream Land 3 as a boss fight. Wait for both of them to be on screen. There we go. Alright, now we can get into the fortress. I like how Pon and Con take part in the dance. Also, it's kind of weird seeing Marks like participating also, but yeah. Right, well, that's the pink part filled out. Right, no. Now we're, like, on the... Well, we're not quite inside the fortress, but we're, like, around the perimeter, it seems like.
Eastern Wall. Yeah, I think this game's a little bit shorter than the other games that we've been playing recently. Like, I think we're about halfway through the game. Like, because I think this game has four worlds in it. And we're on World 3. Granted, World 3 and World 4 are much bigger than Worlds 1 and 2, but not by much. So here's a new ability. Staff. Become a staff-wielding martial artist and mow down your enemies. The product of a strange land, the staff is the ultimate telescoping weapon that extends to let you pull vault over obstacles. So this particular staff is like a reference to like Chinese mythology or something? Like I know about that much. Like a staff that like extends when you use it. Kind of interesting to see like a Kirby game using like an ability, like having an ability that's based off of Chinese mythology. But there you go. this stage have a secret switch in it, or is it just a puzzle piece? I wasn't paying attention, again. Oh yeah, we can pogo hop. Ducktail style. Wait, why did the... Uh, what happened to Adeline? Why did Adeline become Plug? I, I didn't see what happened there. Pile drive like marks. Hey there, Pixel. Welcome back. Call back to Kirby Dreamland One. Yeah, you, you don't really see the Phantom Masks outside of that game, so it's kind of interesting to see them in this game. Like, these guys were in Castle Lolo and Lavara, or whatever it's called, like Castle Lolo, from the first game. I'm guessing the puzzle piece is in here. Yep, there is. Mm -hmm. 
do your thing. Check something real quick. Oh, so this is like this is Beetle, right? This isn't like a Suplex. Yeah, Beetle's in this game. I'll use that. A flash of light reflects off the horn as the King of Bugs returns. You can pound stakes with the halberd slam and use up to gather your friends on your head and fling them into the air. It's kind of weird how you don't get the beetle ability from Bugsy. Then again, Bugsy specialises in like suplex moves, but it's still kind of weird. Like, because you think thematically, oh, Bugsy, he's a bug, I'll get a beetle from that. But yeah, no, Bugsy's always giving you, like, suplex. Again, just dabbing everyone with the with the bug horn. The beetle horn. Alright, what are we doing this time, friend circle? Nope, friend bridge. Get the little monkey fella to the door. So I just realised Adeline came back, unless I'm like not keeping track of where these characters are. Extra stage open. I like the blue colour for um, Fighting Leo, uh, Knuckle Joe sorry, what am I talking about? Fighting Leo. No, that's that's not even a name of a Kirby character in, in Kirby. There's Burning Leo and there's Knuckle Joe. Right, well this puzzle piece is almost complete, this puzzle picture. I'm guessing this is Kirby 64. No idea what this one is. I think this one is Squeak Squad because I can see Animal Kirby. Like at the end of the stream I'll show you all the pictures because I got them all done on my original save file. We'll do the extra stage first. Just one puzzle piece to look for. This is a uh, Kirby Dreamland 3 music. The mini boss rush level. So wait a minute, what's that? Ice plus water.
Yes, let us fuse and become one. So I remember back when this game was brand new and like a lot of like YouTubers that I followed and watched like were making us think about oh this game is too easy and I did like a video response to that sort of like situation where it's like yeah Kirby games are easy but you're kind of missing the point. Like it's not really about the difficulty even though these games do have like hard segments if you like play enough of them. Like it's more about like having fun. Even though this game plays it more safe than Robobot, it's still a good game for like, you know, just like a, a, very, a very good platformer. Also, there's a fake Kirby. Speaking of Dreamland 3. Yeah, I did the stuff ability like five minutes ago. You must have missed that. More Dreamland 3 music. Dark Matter theme song. There we go. Again, I do like that much like the last couple Kirby games, the extra stages you do will give you like various songs from the older Kirby games. Just give you a nice listen to like the past game soundtracks. Like a nice sampling of them. Yeah, that one's kind of well hidden. I didn't notice that crevice there, like I could have easily missed that one. The true arena from Superstar Ultra. The original version of Kirby Superstar didn't have the true arena, that was added specifically to the Ultra version of the game. I like the part of the music that's like <laughs> but I don't know what you call that instrument, but I like hearing it. There you go, Sector A complete. Right, let's do the other place now. Might get some more dream allies now. I've been using Adeline and Marks for a little while, so I might be, like swap them out for some others.
Yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's go and get two more. Yeah, you like loading screens in your Kirby games? I mean, let's be fair, the loadings aren't- the loading isn't that long, but yeah, you do notice it. Get King DDD. King Dedede, rival to rival, all rivals, ever since Kirby's Dreamland, this tough guy calls himself a king and can take friends' powers and add it to that of his hammer. Wait, rather than reading it out, you should just try it out. Go on, you know you can't resist. Also, I just realised I'm piggybacking King Dedede, it's just like old times. You know, with Kirby 64. get someone else to replace the other character. Maybe I'll get Susie, actually. Yeah, let's try going for Susie. There we go. I'm gonna try to get all the characters so we can check them at least once. Goodbye, Marks. The Exterminator will see you now. No mere secretary, Susie from Kirby Planet Robobot is capable of corporate restructuring. She's all business with her business suit on, so schedule a meeting and see what she can do. I forgot she was even in this game. Oh yeah, that's right, you can pilot like a mech is like part of her moveset. How do I cancel this? B let's see, business suit. Business suit up, then press and hold Y, L, or R. So wait, what's business suit up? Down plus B. Down plus B and then Y, L, or R. There we go. I'm looking forward to my next stream after this because, again, some new games that I'll be starting like Super Monkey Ball and Animania and Sonic Colors and then later this week, like on Friday, I'll be doing Metroid Dread which, really excited for that one. I've got this extension on my browser that basically blocks all YouTube videos with like keyboards that you put in so I'm putting like a bunch of keyboards relating to Metroid or Metroid Dread so that I don't get spoiled because apparently the game's already been leaked out there and some people are like posting like all the story cutscenes. So yeah, watch out for that. Make sure you, if you don't want to get spoiled on that shit, like be careful out there. 
sorry I wasn't paying attention to what the requirements are again. Really should be looking at that before I start, because I can't exactly pause the game and look at it. Per puzzle piece and switch. Like, there's only one puzzle piece, but sometimes there's also an addi additional switch. I'm guessing the switch is for the Dream Palace. After World 3, I'm going to take a short break so I can get a snack and then we can do the rest of the game after that. So after we're done with uh, the Jam Jambonian Palace or whatever it's called, Jabroni Palace, then we can do like a short break and then do the rest of the game, like I said. Again, this game isn't as long as the other games by this, the, the looks of things. There may be some time after we'll to like do some of the side content. I'll see how I feel after that. Susie not have an electric move? Oh, wait a minute. Right, I think I see what's going on here. Right, that's it. There we go. Thanks, DDD. Look at that. DDD's drum dash. Haven't seen that transformation before. Tokyo and Mount Fuji. Oh, that's cool. Terenza. And Susie. Back to back. That's cool. And what is that? Oh, that's Marks. Nice. Wait, what was that? Ability, stone plus ESP. Right, okay then. Oh my god. Also, there's the War Star Cutter from Return to Dreamlands. Nice. circle. Right, just need to find the hidden switch now. Oh. 
stun, please. Ah! Oops. Well, you're you're very good stone at doing the things you should be doing. Have we seen the Magor statue yet? There's the the hidden switch. There we go. Dream Palace now open. We'll do a few more levels, and then I'm gonna switch out the characters. I'm gonna try and get all the dream allies to appear during this playthrough since I've got them the the update, you know, 4.0. So we'll get to see everybody at least once, hopefully. Shit's about to go down in here, I think. Story time. And yes, this game does have a story. This is where the actual story begins. Bon Jam. Heh. <laughs> That's how we greet people on my planet. I am Francesca, one of the three generals of magic. Together, we command the Fortress of Shadows known as Gem Bastion. We wish to assemble the Dark Jamba heart pieces that were scattered across the universe. Once we do, our most twisted divisions will finally be untwisted, unthawed, unfurled. But I do not wish to waste my time with pointless chatter, so I won't. Just so you know, just so that, just know that should you attempt to oppose us, I'll have no choice but to put you on ice, forever! Right, so here's the first of the three generals. Frozen General Francesca. Uh-oh. That's what I get for holding up. Oh, thank you for the safe DDD. Nice. DDD there with the stomp. Thank you very much, Deez Bruce, for the subscription. Uh, you haven't missed much. Uh, Sora is in Smash Brothers. If that's what you're talking about. In terms of this game, I'm on World 3, so... You missed, like, about two hours of content, I think. Three hours. This game has far less worlds than Triple Deluxe and uh, Robobot and Return to Dreamland. There's only four worlds in this game. Worlds 3 and 4 take far longer than worlds 1 and 2. Oh, nice. I love how shitty King DDD looks <laughs> in his art style. Like, he looks really fucking deformed. It's like that, you know, when, when people in that uh, Kirby anime, like, make their own cartoon and it looks really shitty. That's kind of what DDD looks like right now. Kirby looks unchanged. In fact, most of them look unchanged. Well, they look a little bit more chibified, but you know, King DDD has like got the worst of it.
Right, Dream Palace. Now we can access Dream Palace from three different places. I'm not going to use it for now, I'm going to do the next level. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I'm really good at paying attention to shit. Don't be too surprised if I keep doing this where I'll enter a level and leave it because I didn't look at something. I just want to see what I'm looking out for if I'm getting the collectibles. Right, puzzle piece and switch again. Let's go. Yeah, we picked goods. I feel like they could, like, hide something in those corners if they wanted to. Oh, Jesus. So yeah, I, sh I showed the staff ability earlier, based off of Chinese mythology, and you can pogo stick with it. I vaguely remember a thumbnail of my old Star Allies VODs from like 3-4 years ago having like a picture of like Kirby doing a smooch to like King Dedede but it looks really weird from that angle. Like a small thing like Kirby like trying to smooch King Dedede it looks like not like they're hugging but like they're just doing something weird it's kind of hard to explain. I could look for that thumbnail right now and I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Hang on. Let me do that real fast. See if I can find this real quick. Can't fucking find my own videos. Like, I search Melee Kirby Star Allies and I can't fucking find my own videos on YouTube. Thanks, YouTube. What if I put Melee Kirby in quotations, will that show it? Right, that seems to show it. Okay, here we go, I, f I found the picture. Let me just get a high quality version of this. Copy image address, paste. Wait a minute, that, 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 that does not work. One sec, let me just get, I'm trying to like get the image off of the here. How do I do this? Open image in new window? Nope, don't open the YouTube video. Fuck, I clicked the wrong thing. Yeah, give me one second. 
open image in new tab. Why? Why does that not work? I'll just right click and save image as. It won't look as high quality, but it'll, you'll, you'll still see it. One second, getting the image. Just waiting for Windows to cooperate with me. Oh no one, the fucking picture's not showing up, it's a WebP image. My nemesis. WebP to PNG. WebP is like the fucking worst image format ever invented. Like, fuck WebP. I can't... Yeah, sorry about this. This is taking longer than I expected because it's not doing the right thing. Where Where is it? Oh, fuck. Right, I'm going to throw this up for now. Like, this is not even worth the time it's taken me to do this, but I'm going to try and get this picture for you. Having difficulties just getting the image. Um, I thought I saved this. Wait. What the fuck are you talking about, browser? I didn't save the file. Y you know what? Fuck it, I'll just screen grab it. That's the next best thing. It's not going to look as good, but fuck it. I'll just screen grab the goddamn thing. Like, YouTube is doing everything it can to prevent me from saving the thumbnail, so I'm just going to screen grab it instead. Right, here we go. Right, check this out. As soon as I can get this on screen. I, I am I am the most professional of streamers today. Right, here it is. Sorry about that. Like, this is what Kirby, at least back then, I'm not sure if they updated the game to change this, but when Kirby smooches King DDD, this is what it looks like. Is he kissing his gut? I guess he is, because he's just kind of like aiming there. Did I get the rare puzzle piece on this level, or am I still looking for that? I forgot if I got that already. Oh. I think I, like, I just stopped at the level, so I guess I haven't got it yet. Anyway, let's continue going through Gem Bastion. Painter. You know, I don't, I don't actually remember that being a thing in this game, but apparently that's the thing you can do. Right, well I got everything in this level, so now I can just focus on finishing the level. Like, at this point, I think I'm going to get all the collectibles, because it's not as much of an effort as it is in the, in the last few games. It's not like, oh, find three to five things per level, it's just like, find two things at most. In most levels, it's like, just find one thing. So, I'm fine doing that. It means a lot less effort needed on my part to, like, get everything. Right, okay then. I think we'll be running into the second general soon. There's like three generals we'll be fighting before the end of this world's... Oh. I've mostly hit number one. It's not that hard to hit number one in this.
Here we go, second general. Plus sector B, which we'll do first. What is it with me and not, like, taking just a moment to look at something? I think it's just a puzzle piece in here, but I need to be sure. I need to be sure. Yeah, it's just a puzzle piece. Alright. Kirby 64 music. Nice. Kirby 64 has some great music. I mean, you could you could apply that sentence to any Kirby game, but I like how Kirby 64 music sounds. What's this again? The friend train? <laughs> I forgot about this one. The friend train. When friends combine their power, they become a full steam train. It choo-choos right over walls, charging full speed ahead. It's the Dream Friendship Express, hop on! I like that it choo-choos when you jump. I didn't miss something the other day. Like, I didn't miss the rare puzzle piece. Reference to the Simpsons, choo choo choos you. This is the slowest Sonic the Hedgehog game I've ever played. No wonder Sega was marketing blast processing like Kirby does it and it's like, you know, moving through molasses. The fighting copied ability, complete with tons of techniques. Grab and throw foes with these, you can even grab and throw your friends. Throw them against rocks and other things you want to smash. Yeah, I think all the moves are pretty much the same as before. Instant Mega Force Blast, down forward, hold B. Wait, is that is that the Hodokin input command? Oh shit, it is. Hodokin! Hadouken! So yeah, down, down forward B. Oh, I recognise this song. Medical Matter. Oh. Medical Matter is one of the hardest fucking boss fights in any Kirby game. Well, not really, but it's, it's tricky. Like, for casual people, it's quite a hard fight. For people who can't play baby Kirby games like myself. Kirby, what are you, what are you doing? Okay, I think this game is just as horny as Triple Deluxe. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna keep this.
Alright, that's that part filled out. The Inner Sanctum, so we'll be fighting the second of the three generals very soon. After this level I'm going to switch out my two dream allies. Sorry. I have a really bad habit of not paying attention to what I'm looking out for. So... Two things. Puzzle piece and switch. Like, cause I've just got that mindset, okay let me just start the level and I forget to see what I'm actually looking out for. Because they change it up, and I, I keep forgetting what, what it is I'm actually doing. Like, it's not like the DS games where it keeps tip, like, they keep track of that on the touch screen because I, like, it doesn't show you. Unless it shows you in the pause screen, but I don't think it does. But as far as I'm aware, it doesn't. No, it doesn't say. Thank you, King DDD. Oh, that's cool. Right, well, that was an easy puzzle piece. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Susie. There we go. Right, but well, that wasn't too bad. Extra stage unlocked. Yeet, Susie. Yep. All right, boss time. At least mid boss. This world has a few mid bosses. Hey you! You stubby little pink thing! Yeah, you can tell she's the hothead of the generals. Yes, you! I have a burning question for you. You're the one who was so rude to, you, so rude to sweet Francesca, weren't you? Don't you dare try to deny it. 
fiend coward. I swear if you've harmed a single blue hair on her perfect head, you'll burn for it. Jam blasted. I will never ever forgive you. Now you must face Flameberge, that's me. For what you have done, I will scorch you to such a degree that, that even tasty toasty marshmallows will seem like ice cubes compared to you. Okay, apparently they eat toasty marshmallows on their planet as well. I love how you can't even fucking tell what's happening on the screen half the time when you've got like four allies versus one boss. Also, that was kind of funny. The sword, the sword went from the ground there back to her hands. Oh fuck! Oh no! Shit! My spider ability is gonna disappear. I tried to like slay tackle under her and my hitbox was too big to do that. On mode. I'm gonna go change my star allies now. My dream allies, I mean. The cool thing about the dream allies in this game is that most of the new ones, like from the updates, have like multiple abilities, like tied into one. So it's like, for example, like King DDD or the Roach, like have like multiple elements in their like moveset. Like, the Roach has like an electric, an ice, and a fire one all rolled into one, so you don't necessarily need to have certain like allies with you if you can have like the dream allies because they'll have like multiple in their like moveset usually. That's how I've been using like King Dedede and Susie for as long as I have because they've got like a bunch of stuff they can work with. But yeah, let's change these two out for two different ones. I think I'm gonna get the animal, bu animal buddies this time. See if that rolls back around again. There we go. Rick Kane and Koo from Kirby's Dreamland 2. Rick Kane and Koo. Three pals from Kirby's Dreamland 2 join the fray. They form the Dream Team Trio so that they can help each other out. Rick rules the land, Kane swims the seas, and Koo soars over the skies. Animal friends forever! Yeah, these guys also have like multiple elements to work with.
Gonna swap out King DDD, I'm not sure who for yet. Maybe Meta Knight? Actually, you know what? Uh, might not get back around to him. There we go. Since we got Kirby's Dream Land 2 characters, let's get a Kirby's Dream Land 3 character as well. Gooey. It's Gooey with the ridiculously long tongue. This weird wobbler has hopped in from Kirby's Dream Land 3. Not even Gooey knows why he's up here. We're just glad to see him show up. Quick click. Flicker lick. Snack lick. Tongue slingshot. Oh yeah, when you float around, he becomes like his dark matter form. Like, I think this th this like I don't know the lore about Gooey, but apparently he's like part dark matter, or he's like some form of it, but he's not like a bad form of it. He's like a good one, if that makes sense. Something like that. I'm not the most brushed up on Kirby lore, admittedly, but yeah, it's something along those lines. It's like a smaller piece of dark matter, but it's not like evil. Time for some more classic Kirby music. Squeak Squad. plus electric, I think. Or Drizzly plus electric, hang on. sure what they want me to do here exactly. I'm guessing this is what I was supposed to do. Ah, there we go. Zap Splasher. Oh yeah, I've been putting up my Kirby-thon VODs like gradually, like today I put up Amazing Mirror and Squeak Squad. So over the next few days you'll see like the rest of them go up. Because the last four will be like, the, the last four games I've been doing recently, like Return to Dreamland, Triple Deluxe, Robobot and this. I like the mouse squeak samples they put in there. Oh god, it's this song. Also from Squeak Squad. The theme of existentialism. If Kirby ever had an existential crisis, this is what it would sound like.
Oh, wait a minute. Right, I see. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could destroy those things. I guess that's the only way you can do that. Something tells me there's a secret over there. Thanks, Gooey. Nope, there's nothing over there. They could have easily hidden something, like, just off the camera. I mean, I got the, the rare puzzle piece, but they could have, like, put, like, a bonus room in there. With, like, one-ups or something. Or, like, the Howl room. I love how the pog takes like five fucking minutes to realize what I'm trying to ask it to do. Everybody smooch each other. It's a smooch fest. We got all those strawberry shortcakes. Strawberry on the shortcake! I feel like Kirby and Travis Touchdown from No More Heroes would get along very well. I don't know, what do you guys think? 69 lives? Oh, did I actually reach that? I wasn't paying attention to the lives count. I reached 69 lives. Right now for the third general. So one thing you might have noticed in this game is that the boss fights actually have like a level beforehand. Like it's not you know, start the level, walk along a little bit, grab the power, and then start the fight. Like, they actually give you a bit of a level before you get to that fight. So apparently you can get rid of your allies if you, like, hold L plus Y. I mean, it's good to know in case I need to do that at some point.
I love not realizing, like, I've lost, I've lost count of how many times I've done this now. It's just a puzzle piece I'm looking for. It's just so that I, like, I need to check ahead of time, so it's like, okay, I know exactly what I'm looking for. Because I really don't want to have to play the full level again, you know? If I can help it, I want to, like, you know, play the level in one sitting. But I keep forgetting to, like, check it before I get started, because it's not like the other games where it's like, it'll be on the HUD or something, like, it doesn't show you on the HUD for some reason. Or in the case of the 3DS games, like, it was on the touch screen, like, that information. That's why I keep, like, jumping into the level thinking, oh, I, c I could just look at, look at the touch screen. There is no touch screen to look at, so... <laughs> That's why I keep making the mistake of starting the level and then having to, like, immediately leave the level so I can see what it was. Gonna have to get into the habit of, like, paying attention to the actual, like, level screen before I start it. Wait, did I miss it? That was a very short level. Button jam. I am Zan Par Partizan. I think that says Zan Partizan, the eldest of the three generals of magic. At first, I thought you would be a simpleton with an with a knack for annoyance. Hmm. Now it is clear that you are an interfering interloper. But I'm afraid that your unwanted wanderings end here. By the will of our beloved liege, Lord Highness, official of Do officiant of doom. I shall destroy you here and now. I'm guessing she's the leader of the three generals. Since we're fighting her last. some foods. Get him, Fat Kirby! <laughs> Good job, Fat Kirby. Finished with that move. Is there more to this level, or is that the whole level? Because I was thinking, oh, there might be like a little bit more level after this. Ah, oh, jam blasted. Bah! How could there be such opposition on a measly and remote planet like this? Well, it matters not. The Jamba Heart piece is already within my grasp. Listen here, you tiny ball of pink, puffy pink mischief. For all I care, you and this Jam Bastion can rot and ruin forever. Jamba, bye! Oh. Right, so the puzzle piece might be in this segment then. Oh yeah, I think I remember this from my original playthrough. Like, I think I died a few times doing this part. If 
if it wasn't this, it was like somewhere else in the game where you did something like this. Oh, I thought I was gonna like go the opposite direction there for a second. Checking what's down here first. Nothing. Time for a friendship star, I think. Yeah. I'm not switching characters un unless absolutely necessary because I don't want to accidentally replace my dream allies. Be quick to get that one. So I, I thought that was going to open up there, and I realized, oh, you can break those. Right, world 3 complete, now for the next area. 
So we started on in like Dreamland and then Popstar and then Jam Bastion, the giant fortress that's like near Popstar. So you're probably thinking, where are we going next? The far-flung starlight heroes. Before they knew it, they were in deep space, looking back that they saw Planet Popstar was but a tiny glimmer in the distance. Kirby and his friends are determined to, hopefully, protect the peace and tasty nap times of their beloved home. Now become a shining star and fly! Yes, we're going to the one place that has yet to be corrupted by capitalism. Space. But before we do that, I'm going to take a short break and then we will do this next world because this is the last world of the game. So yeah, there's only four worlds in this game, but this one's quite long. So stick around, I will be back in like five or ten minutes. I'm going to grab a quick snack and stretch my legs. So see you shortly. Alright, I am back. Again, sorry that took a while. I had to get a grab to eat. I had to like grab a bite to eat. What's... Uh, before we continue, let me just go back and change my dream allies and then we'll do the next worlds. Not sure how I'm going to go for this time, maybe add Magolor to the roster. Magolor and someone else. Oh fuck, I wouldn't pass by Magolor. There we go. You know what, Magolor and Taranza. We'll do those two. Just one second. Right, let's go get Taranza now. Also, whenever you select a level, has anyone ever noticed that when Kirby, like, selects a level, you hear the sound of, like, water rushing and, like, birds chirping? Like, it's not just this game, it happens in Triple Deluxe and Robobot as well. Alright, Taranza, here we go. Taranza. This clumsy smarty pants stumbled his way here from the heights of Kirby Triple Deluxe. He's a lonely insect on a journey in search of a queen, and he's one of your new dream friends. So yeah, this character, like, I honestly wasn't sure if it was a guy or a girl, like, they've got a very androgynous design with them, but yeah, apparently it's a dude. Alright, so let's see, uh, Darling Dreamstalk up B. Taranza Ball. Queen's Phantom, down up then B. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. Let's see what Magolor's moveset is. This charming rogue magician arrives from Kirby's return to Dreamland with a wink and has something up his sleeve. But he's tr but he's your dream friend and he's more than willing to help you conquer the galaxy. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Got a third page here. Black hole. Oh god, there's four pages. Ultra sword. Down up B. Nice.
There's the black hole move. I think the Crystal Apples are reference to that one... That one spin-off game, what was it called again? That free-to-play game that wasn't very good. Right, let's do the next area now. Right, so far flung Starlight Heroes, so this is the final area of the game. Would you think? Oh, this is quite a short game. The final area is quite big, actually. It's not like, oh, it's two or three levels in the final boss. Like, this is how big this area is. So check this out. Yep, this is how massive this area is, and there's like a lot of side bits that you can check out as well. The final boss is in there, but we can't go in there yet. So we'll probably be here for at least a possible like an, an hour and a half, two hours, at least. Because I remember this place being really big. Little side planet there. Right, so let's get started. So this final area is kind of like a little bit of a wink and a nudge to people who have played Milky Way Wishes from St uh, Superstar. God damn it. <laughs> I forgot to check again. Two things. Again, just want to make absolute sure that I know what I'm looking out for. I've done that more times than I care to map than I care to count. Thank you, my goaler. I like this song. The song's pretty nice. Oh. One whole watermelon. Calm down, my goaler. It's just one enemy. Like, one common enemy, and your, like, your response to that is, oh, I'll just make a big black hole of destruction. Also, there's some Squeak Squad art up there. Three of the, the Squeak Squad members of names who I can't remember. One of them being, being Spinny. And Doc, what was the big one called again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, may want to may want to get may want to get clean. That didn't sound right. May, may want to get the cleaning ability. That's what I meant to say.
There we go. Now to look for the switch. Oh. I bet it's up there. I was expecting them to fall down there, and I was like, oh, they're, they're, fo they're a floating enemy, of course. Yeah, that's that's the one thing that kind of annoyed me. It's like Sakurai was like, oh, by the way, now we've got all the Kingdom Hearts games on the Switch. And he doesn't mention it upright, but if you read the, the text while they're like revealing that, it's like, oh, it's like cloud-based. And I'm like, oh, that that's the catch. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, of course Square Enix wouldn't even bother to like port those games to the Switch like proper. Lazy fucks. I mean, you could probably get Kingdom Hearts 3 running on Switch. Like, Doom Eternal, you can get that game working on Switch. There's no excuse for, like, companies being like, eh, we, we, we can't get this game to work on this system. They're basically just admitting, oh, we, we don't feel like it. That's basically what they're admitting when they say that. It's not that they can't do it, it's just that they don't want to do it, as far as I'm concerned. I love that fat Kirby painting, it's so funny. <laughs> Probably needing this. Oh. Before I go in there. Alright, everybody has one. Dream Palace opens. Do a couple more levels and I'll change out these uh, Dream Allies. Yeah, 
apparently the engine is based on, like, the same engine as, like, Final Fantasy X and that game's on Switch. I don't know, it's just, just a bit of a weird issue. Like, I don't think it's, like, got anything to do with licensing, it's just, for some reason, Square Enix just says no. Like, I'm, I'm assuming with, like, the whole deal with, like, Sora being in Smash Bros, because it's not just a Sakurai thing, like, Nintendo is involved in it as well, with, like, you know, the DLC characters. I think Nintendo was pressuring Square Enix to be like, look, we need you, like, we're gonna put Sora, like, we're making a deal with, like, Disney to put, like, Sora in there, well, deal, deal with Square Enix, but also, like, Disney, because, you know, partially owned by Disney, but it's Square Enix. Anyways, like, Nintendo was probably pressuring Square Enix to be like, yeah, you need to put these games on the Switch because people want to play these games on, on our platform. But like, fine, we'll do it, but we'll only, like, put, the, put it on the cloud. And Nintendo's like, fine, yeah, sure. We accept your terms. Still sucks, but whatever. I have the games on PlayStation 4, so it doesn't bother me personally, but... I know some people out there who, you know don't have a PlayStation 4 that would want to play that and might not have the best internet connection. Right, just a puzzle piece for this one. There's also a mid-boss in this level. I think we're going to be finding a lot of mid-bosses in this world. Yeah, you can't recruit Crash Bomb. But yeah, it's whatever, it doesn't really bother me. I've got Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 and I've got 3 as well, so... Like, I'm just annoyed more so at the, you know, the principle of it, where it's like, yeah, but why though? Right, well that was easy. Fighting Wispy Woods again. Shouldn't you be back on Planet Popstar, Wispy Woods? Yeah, tossing Magolor. Wow, we made short work of him. Oh? God damn it, Terenza. <laughs> oh, there's another Wispy Woods. Iggy Woods. Oh fuck.
Oh, shit. Yeah, we got this. Nope. <laughs> Was that Taranza that did that? Hey there, Rocky. Welcome back. Right, that picture's almost finished. Hi. I keep forgetting to check the boss lore, so I keep forgetting that. Like, that's something I never really realised I keep missing to do. I'm sure if you Google it or something, you can find all the boss lore yourself. Planet Mistine. Right, so there's a jigsaw piece and there's a switch on this one. Oh, hi, it's Kirby Dreamland 3 music. Suplex's friend tag team ability is broken as fuck. I've never seen that color palette for Bonkers before. Ah! Like in any previous Kirby game. Not exactly what I was looking for there, but thank you, Terenza. So this is the arena music from Kirby's Return to Dreamland, but it's like 8 bitified. see what's going on here. Kind of. Right, I see.
Right now, I just need to look for the hidden switch. I do like how the music like gets muffled when you're under the water. Nice little audio detail there. It's hard to believe that we're going to be getting like a 3D Kirby game in like about six months. Like about half a year from now, it's not that far off. Like spring of 2022, so yeah that's about six months away, right? We'll get that around, I would say, maybe April or something. I could see that being like a March or April game. Early 2022 is already looking stacked for really good games coming out. I think next year is going to be one of the better years for gaming, especially since, you know, the last couple years. Yeah, there's been some good games, and I'm still looking forward to Metroid Dread, but it's been kind of lackluster, you know, because of, like, the pandemic, like, COVID, like, preventing or slowing down development time of, like, some games. But it seems like 2022 has been lined up to be one of the better years for gaming. Oh, yeah, I watched a video from Spawn Wave, where apparently... Uh, there's like rumors going about right now that um, there's going to be like a remaster or a remake of Metroid Prime 1 being made by Retro. I'm not sure if that's like how true that is, but apparently Nate the Hate is like vouching for it, so I'm kind of curious to see if that ends up happening because that's been supposedly in development for years now and it's like Metroid Prime's 20th anniversary next year. So, the consensus seems to be that it's going to be, like, coming out for that. Wait. I, I can't do that underwater, though. Oh, I see. Right. Now I can do it. You got Monkey Ball today? Have you played it yet? I want to play it, but I'm still doing Kirby stuff. I'll probably play it tomorrow. Extra stage opens. Alright, good. I'm gonna have to go into the eShop later today and buy... Look, there's a DLC pack I want to buy, because there's like day one DLC for the game. Like, I want to buy the OG music for the game. So that I have, like, the GameCube soundtrack and not the, the modern soundtrack. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure the modern soundtrack is fine, but when I think of Monkey Ball, I think of the GameCube music. I don't want, like, the new music. But yeah, the DLC pack that contains, like, the original music is, like, $5, so... It's a little bit of an extra investment, but it's fine. I, I, th I think I'm okay paying that. At least the base game isn't, like, $60, it's, like, $40 relatively inexpensive. Still a wee bit scummy though, in my opinion, that it's just like, yeah, you want that classic music from the classic Monkey Ball? Yeah, give us an extra five dollars and we'll let you have that. Seeing that this is this next stage is going to be an extra side stage, I'm guessing it's there's no switches. It's just going to be the jigsaw piece and that's it. Right, this picture's almost complete. No idea what that picture is. Hi. 
There's the extra stage. Extra planet alpha. Yeah, I'll probably hit 99 lives before I'm done with this. It's not terribly difficult to get extra lives in this game. Yeah, it's just one puzzle piece that I'm looking for. Oh hey, it's a uh, Return to Dreamland music. Cookie Country. Oh, I see what they're doing. Right, so this is based on... I think this is based on one of the levels from Superstar. Like in Milky Way Wishes. Where you go in the door and it changes seasons. I'm guessing this is fall. Or, not fall, but... So wait, we went from spring to fall and then it's night time? I mean, sure, why not? But it's got a similar idea going on. You can see Ribbon's home planet in that area, in the, the map. I'm, I'm gonna... Do you know where exactly it is so I can look for it? Oh wait, it's winter. Right, okay. For some reason it's at night time. Thank you, Terenza. Okay, that was easy. So yeah, it goes between spring, then fall, then winter, and then back to spring again. Summer seems to be absent, but you know, don't really need it. I'll have a look for it. More Return to Dreamland music. Another dimension. I love the soundtrack to Return to Dreamland. I should put that in my pre-stream music some more often. Yes, some more often. I am good with words. But I should, I should do it more frequently, is what I'm trying to say. Even this area kind of feels like and the other dimension place with like the walls like trying to crush you. Maybe that's what they were going for there. Point Kawasaki. Is there a war for this? No. Speaking of Return to Dreamland music, wasn't this when you fight the Kawasaki like robot? This music? Nice. 
I could have potentially gotten one up there, but I don't really need them. I want to keep the mallet. I'll have a look around, see if I can find that ribbon planet. Planet ribbon, or whatever it's called. I wonder if Shiver stalls there somewhere. You know, the, the, the planet that's supposedly Earth, but frozen over. I'll have a look around, see what I can find. There may be actually, like, some references to, like, different Kirby games throughout the galaxy. Nice. Squeak Squad. Squeak Squad and Amazing Mirror rolled into one because I see the Amazing Mirror back there. That's cool. I like that. I also saw Ghost Kirby there in that picture. What is that? It's like... A shitty Waddle, D Waddle Dee. Ripple Star. Alright, well, have a look around, see if I can find it. Is this Shiver Star? I can't go any further than that. If anybody sees Ripple Star, let me know because chances are I didn't notice it. What planet is this? Yeah, I'm not seeing it. So wait, why can I access this level when I still have like all that stuff back there to do? Oh wait, I can just do these levels in any order. I'm just gonna go from the start on all the way up to here. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Right, puzzle piece for this one. No side switches. You can access the Gem Bastion, keep an eye out for Shadow Kirby flying around the map area. If I go back there, I'll keep an eye out. I didn't know that he makes an appearance in this game. After this level, I'm going to switch out my Dream Allies. God damn it, Bio Spark, hold up your weapon. Whatever. Pawn and con again. This time, Silver Pawn, or Gold on and Silvox. But this feels more like the fight from Dreamland 3.
Oh, fuck. Nice. I did the hammer flipping technique there. When they walked into that. Yeah, so that one was just to fight those two. Did I get the, the puzzle piece? I did, didn't I? Or did I not? Wait, sorry, that level was very short. I don't remember if I did it or not. No, I think I missed it. Shit. Oh, we have to, like, do these in order, actually, because we need to open the pathway. I see. Right, don't mind me. Just gonna go back in again so I can get the, the puzzle piece that I missed. Don't know where it is. Like, this, it's not a very long level, so I somehow didn't see it. Oh. It's up there. I didn't even see that. Alright, well, I know where it is now. Also, I lost hammer. I don't know if I can leave the level or if I have to, like... No. I have to, like, finish the level again. Since I'm here. Golden and Silvox. The Glittering Duo made their home on a backwater island on a certain planetoid, and they'll viciously attack anyone who stumbles into their territory. Beware the furry fury of Golden and Silvox. Alright. Holy shit. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. One of them is dead already. So yeah, charged up cooking does a shit ton of damage. I wonder if they'll ever bring back the magic ability from Amazing Mirror and Star Ally- no, not Star Ally, Squeak Squad. Specifically like the Squeak Squad version because that one was actually a full moveset and not like press A button to do something. Right, let's continue. 
planet cover ca ca planet cave ca oh ca caverna right okay I'm good at reading I'm excellent at reading even so just a puzzle piece on this one no switches Thank you, Tarzana. Terenza. Doesn't this level have sort of a labyrinthian design to it? I think I vaguely remember this level, but I forgot exactly what for. We have to like beat all the mini bosses to open the goal. So it's kind of like a, a mini boss rush, sort of. Where did my where did my hammer go? Okay, well, Hamel's fucking gone. Hit that. Wait a minute. Oh shit, nice! I didn't know that I had properties of the hammer. The statues, how do I do this again those again? Hang on. Sculpture do not be. Mm, I think I need to get the throwing one for this. Oh, get on. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Magolarian launch. I don't think I've ever seen that move before. Magolar MVP. There it is. 
thank god I had Magola with me for that one. Now let's get, get the rest of these mini-bosses out of the way. I like how it's like a fucking Roman sculpture of like Susie. It's like, what the fuck? Oh. Yeah, get fucked, Kawasaki. Oh, hey there, uh, Venocida. Venocida? Seda? I'm bad at pronouncing names, but welcome. Friend the cook. Did I not do this room? Right, so let's see one two, three, four along. Oh, wait a minute, it's up here. I think. Or was it this room? I forgot which room it was I've not done yet. Bonkers, please. That's not the one either. Oh, wait a minute, it shows you... Right, I, I see what's going on. It shows you if you've done the room yet, because you'll see the statue of their ability after you've beaten them, so I've not been in this room yet. Yeah, I haven't done Bugsy yet in this level. Oh. Kirby! Dead. You know what? I'm gonna get this. There we go. Watching a randomizer nuzzle lock of platinum. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I would never do because I suck at Pokemon games. I could never do nuzzle locks. I play Pokemon on a very casual level, so if I ever did the nuzzle lock, it would go really badly really quick. <laughs> like, I would be awful at it. This is... I think this is Kirby's Return to Dreamland because I think Kirby's holding the Ultra Sword in the middle there. Hi. Right, time for the boss of this one. So these are all kind of like refights, like... Well, not really refights, but it's like harder versions of the bosses we've fought so far. Hi. 
I'm not the best when it comes to using suplex in Kirby games, but I love the friend, like, tag team, like, thing that you can do, where it's like you just throw everybody around, and it just bounces off everything. Like that move. Can he not hit this? Wait, that doesn't work? I guess not. Oh wait a minute, the, the Ultra Sword, that's a thing? Do not be? Wait, no? The fuck? You're telling me that doesn't fucking work? Okay then. Guess I need to look for something else. Oh, it's because of- right, okay. We need to use this thing to knock that out. That makes sense. Had I just walked a couple steps to the right, I would have realized that, but you know. That's a real long time in friendship star modes. See you later, Rocky. Do I have to cut this down first? got over 90 lives now. We'll probably hit 100 lives before I finish the game. Or 99 if it caps there.
There is. 92, 93. See how easy it is to get extra lives in this game? This time fighting a boss with the Dream Star. Grand Mam. Big Bad Mama. <laughs> it's an egg. I didn't know this thing was a fucking egg, of all things. There you go. That wasn't too difficult. Right, next planet. Very slowly getting toward the end game. Right, puzzle piece in switch. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go back out so I can change my dream allies. I've been using those two for a while, so I'm gonna like switch them for others. Also, I didn't realize that you could just like select the level from there. Dark Meta Knight. Get Susie. I got Susie already. You missed that. This shadowy figure makes a bold return from the land of the Amazing Mirror. Perhaps he was drawn in by the Dark Hearts, but while his motivations may be shady, he may already have a might. He, he will sure make a mighty ally. The power of the shadow can pierce through any lights. Yeah, I've been gradually going through all the different allies. I've still got like one ally that's not appearing yet. I'm guessing that may be like. Those sisters or something? I'm not sure who that is. I think I need to like beat the game for that one to show up. But yeah, I'm, I'm having like two dream allies at a time, and the third one's just like, you know, a wild card so that I've got like a generic one for like tools and stuff like hammers and cutters and like elemental things. 
the only one I've not done is Meta Knight, so I guess we'll just get him. So Meta Knight and Dark Meta Knight. Meta Knight. First introduced way back in Kirby's adventure, this warrior takes the spirit of chivalry to heart. He has set out on a journey of training, but he would never forget his connection to his friends. May new friends' powers awaken and imbue his blade. Right, so we now have not one, but two Meta Knights. Right, let's continue. One puzzle piece, one switch. So I'm going to ask you, uh, Vino Senda, what do you think of the whole Sora and Smash Brothers thing? Since they're still, like, kind of fresh news. You like it? Yeah, I like it as well. I think it was a smart choice, like, it's a pretty good one that a lot of people wanted. Ice. Right, okay then. Yeah, it was a popular choice. There we go. But yeah, I look forward to checking out Sora come whenever... When was it again? The 18th of October? Like about two weeks from now? Right, well, there's the hidden switch. Hidden switch palace. Extra stage. Right, now to look for the puzzle piece. And then we're good on this one. music makes me want to fall asleep. Like, not saying the music is boring, it's like more of a, like, a relaxing melody, not like, you know, hyper, like, hyper, like, bouncy music, like Kirby music tends to be. It's more like a lullaby song than, you know, like, extremely, like, energetic. That's the one I was looking for there. Oh. 
Did I get the puzzle piece? Or did I mess up? Oh yeah, Sora wasn't shadow dropped, like he's releasing on the 18th of this month. And there's the puzzle piece. I'm fine waiting a couple weeks, because I do have plans for other things to stream. So I've spent the better part of two weeks like streaming Kirby games and I want to like get back to regular streaming. So yeah, like I said, I'll be doing Monkey Ball and Sonic Colors like maybe tomorrow or the day after. Whenever I next feel like streaming. Probably tomorrow. 97 lives. We're about to hit maximum. I don't know if this is one of those games that goes over 99. I think it does actually. But we're about to hit like, either the cap of this game's, like... How, how do I put this into words? We're about to hit either the the cap of the lives, or we're about to, like, hit three digits. One of those two things are gonna happen very soon. Punch our friends. Because that's what friends are for, punching. <laughs> yeah, punch Dark Meta Knight. That totally won't provoke him. time in this area. Oh, you know what I mean, like the, the mini-boss thing, mid-boss. There's a bunch of mid-bosses in World 4. Why is Dark Meta Knight a friend? That's a very good question. I see Dark Meta Knight has like a different victory pose as well. Yeah, that's definitely the Ultra Sword there in the middle. Blizzle Moon. And we got this planet. Extra Planet Beta. Yeah, let's do the beta planet first. Beta testing. This is... Oh, this is triple deluxe music. It's, uh... Oh, come on. That was Dark Meta Knight in statue form. Mm. 
nope, that's not... That was not what I wanted. Shit. Okay, hang on. Fuck off. Can one of these Meta Knights do an electrical attack? No. Cleaner ability doesn't really give you electricity though. <laughs> Big muscle man statue. Oh, it actually does go over 99. Okay, then. Right, well, there you go, 100 lives. I wouldn't be surprised if you could get it up to 999, but that's not going to happen on the stream. So yeah, this planet in particular... What's that? Oh, it's Terenza. This planet in particular is just like triple deluxe music, but you know, even though I th find that game not as good as like Robobot, it's still got really good music. There wasn't a switch on this stage, was there? Like, I'm not 100% sure about that. I don't think there is because it's like a side planet. Oh, hey, look! It's the mech armor. Nice. There's the Lord Star Cutter with Magola inside. What the fuck are you doing, Dark Meta Knight? Get down from there. <laughs> What, why, why is he up there? Why is he not helping? Like Dark Meta Knight just clinging to that? I'm helping! Fuck it, I'm gonna take this. Let like go of it. There we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there was an extra thing here. I don't think there was an extra switch in this level. five lives. In the span of just a couple minutes, I've gone up by like almost ten lives. Hi. Yeah, no, that one didn't have a switch on it. Right, let's continue. Right, just a puzzle piece on this one.
Chai. Do that again. I knew I should have pressed that button a little bit sooner. There we go. Right, well that was easy. I say as I feel that the first time, but it wasn't hard to find that one. This game's, like, collecting aspect is, like, much simpler. But you know what? After, like, playing Triple Deluxe and Robobot back-to-back, -back, I think I'm okay with that. But yeah, you don't really have to go out of your way to, like, get all the, the collectible pieces in this game. Right, boss time. Mid boss. Hmm. Color me surprised. She's back. I certainly didn't expect to run into your puffy self again. And here I thought you were buried along with the gem bastion. Well then. I'll just have to ensure my victory is complete this time. I shall now turn this pink ball of nice into a frozen block of ice. I always wanted a nice sculpture for my trophy collection. Undeterred from her quest to find dark hearts that have rained down across the galaxy, the frozen general is back and tougher than ever before. Her duties have kept her away from Flemberg lately, and she kind of misses her. So, apparently there's lore text for when you fight her the first time as well, which I missed. Again, you could probably find all the lore text if you just look for it on the internet. Right, well that was easy. Looks like Francesca's blasting off again. You know what I've not seen in a while? Like that um, party ability, like the, the festival one, we haven't seen that. Like we've only seen it like once in the whole game. Meanwhile, we've seen other one use abilities like Crash and Cook like multiple times at this point in the game, but we've only seen like Festival once. That's kind of peculiar. Maybe we'll see it in these next couple levels. Just having a look around in case I do see, like, Planet Ripple Star. Because I haven't seen it so far, apparently it's, like, around here somewhere. I wonder, actually. I wonder if there's a secret hidden planet somewhere around here. You know, kind of like, um, in, like, Milky Way Wishes. It wouldn't surprise me if there was, like, a hidden planet. Okay, it's not here. What about this? Nope.
Yeah, I don't see Ripple Star. Oops. I'm not sure if there's like a secret hidden planet somewhere in this area. Like, may maybe there is, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm just kind of looking around, don't mind me. Yeah, don't know. Don't know if I see anything. You'll have to forgive me, I'm gonna have to reload the level because I wasn't looking at the the thing yet again. I've been doing that a lot tonight, sorry everyone. Again, the previous game spoiled me because like they had all that information on the touch screen. Right, it's just a puzzle piece I'm looking for. Gonna wait a moment in case something else happens. No? Okay then. Just making sure. Like, you never know if a wall's going to retract and then they'll show you, like, the, the next thing you're, like, the collectible. Don't know if I'll need that staff. Oh, I. Cut that. Thank you. I knew there was a door behind there, I saw it sticking out. Guess I need staff. God damn it. Uh, sure, why not? Wizard staff. And 
sizzle stuff. That poor chili's gonna die. I haven't found the, the puzzle piece yet, have I? I don't think I have. Chili almost got quashed there. That goes Meta Knight. There it is. There we go. Is there a moon in the background? Nah. I was hoping they stuck a moon in here and you could like walk into it for a super, a super secret room, but nah, no such luck. No crescent moon can be seen. Nah, I don't see anything in the background. Oh well. I wouldn't be surprised if we could do that somewhere in this game, but it's not in this level. First time I've landed on number two for quite some time. Again, it's very easy to get one. I think that one is triple deluxe because I can see like leaves, as in, you know, like part of the dream stock. I think I've got like three more puzzle pieces left. Yeah, it seems like there's room for three more. Gabble Moon. Just a puzzle piece on this one, no switches. I'll recruit some more dream friends in a little while. I'm just gonna continue playing as normal. Let's have a moment of silence for Meta Knight. Alright, moment of silence over. Let's continue. Oh, 
one of these racing rooms. Yeah, we got this. Okay, why did you do that? Give me a chance to like swallow the, the mic, please, Jesus Christ. You know a mini boss is gonna come up if they give you this. Also, I like the music for this level. Pretty good song. Just gonna get rid of Dark Meta Knight. Again, I'll recruit some more allies. at flame burst time. Oh no, it's Crackle. Yeah, I forgot he was in this game. Even in the far-flung reaches of space, as long as there is a sky, Kirby's long-time nemesis Crackle can show up and cast a shadow across it. But out here, something about his energy feels different. Stay on your guard, star allies. Alright. I'm sorry, what was that about us staying on guard? Oh, I see. It's not over yet. Do Thunderhead's twin crackle. Two eyes glare in the gloom like an angry face in the sky. This isn't what crackle looked like back on Popstar. Twice as fluffy and twice as mean, twin crackle's combo attacks are brutal, but they're no match for the power of friendship. It's a very corny line. Yep, so does in Smash. I watched the thing live. Thank you. There's a switch on this one as well as a piece of puzzle. A puzzle piece, rather. A piece of puzzle, what the fuck am I talking about?
Oh, hey, look, it's the it's the three boys. Rick, Ku, and Kane. Oh, that's cool. The roach. Clean curling. Totally not the same as ice curling. Nope. So wait, was that the whole reason for this room? No puzzle piece, no switch? Okay. I'm quite happy that Sora is in Smash. I think it's a, a pretty good final character for like them to reveal. There's marks. I don't think there is a green costume, I didn't see one from the ones they revealed. Extra stage unlocked. Still looking for that puzzle piece, I'm guessing that's up next. That's Susie. Susie statue. Adeline and Ribbon. Oh yeah, you can make them friends. Right, okay then. Um, goodbye, burp. Uh, there's no lore text for this one for some reason. Was that? Did anybody catch what that was? Oh. I need to review what that was that I just saw there. Also, I think I know what's coming next.
Oh, really? There's no moon? Aww. I was hoping to see a crescent moon in the sky so I can go in it and find a secret room. Weird seeing that Chef Kawasaki can be a friend in this game. Extra lives mean shit in this game, I've got like well over 100 of them. Oh, we got more puzzle pieces. Okay, well, we know who that is. That's Flameburge. Extra planet. Something. I forgot what the Y symbol is. Is that Gamma? Right, well, I found all the big switches, so all that's left is the puzzle pieces. That's good to know. Planet Robobot mech music. Yeah, let's go. I would love to see, like, how Lab's bringing back the mechs for a future Kirby game, like, even if it's just, like, you know, sort of a callback. Would be cool if at some point in the Forgotten Land you could, like, actually find, like, a mech to pilot, but I don't know, I don't think they would do that. I mean, I guess anything could happen. It's like a slight puzzle. Oh! Tried to catch me out there. to, like, slide back into that lava. Right, what well, has to be in there? Oh, jeez! Did I destroy an enemy that I needed? Um... I can't do anything about this, can I? Shit! Ah! I'll come back. I... actually... Hmm... I don't think I can.
Unless there is a cutter in this room and I didn't notice it, I don't think I can do this unless I get cutter slash swords. No, I, I don't see it in this room. What the fuck am I supposed to do then? Guess we're going back to do that. Well, that's a little bit shitty. I'm assuming there was a sword slash cutter along the way, so I'm gonna have to like grab that. Uh, gonna have to go through this part again. I don't, I don't see cutter slash sword. I may have to go and get one. Nah. God fucking damn it. Yeah, waste my time. was one in here. Right, here we go again. Like, this part's kinda slow. Like, not necessarily this room, it's like the next room where it's like 3x3 three three that takes like 5 fucking years. I just wanna like get back to that one room so I can like get shit done. Yeah.
who died? I think I can... Hang on. Oh! No! You fuck! That distracted the fuck out of me. Fuck off! <sighs> do I do I need stone for this part, or am I like, I don't know, a little bit annoyed by that? Like if I didn't been smooth sailing and then this happens. I don't know if I need stone for this part. I guess I could just do that. Wait. Oh my fucking god! Kibble, please! Yeah, I'm getting salty now. Of all the fucking allies to die, he had to be the fucking one to go ahead and do that. Great. Right, let's do this again. God, that's annoying. I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna have two of them. Like me and like some, like an ally. Call it insurance, I guess. And hopefully the other two don't die along the way. Or at least, you know, both of them. L little bit, little bit frustrated by that, if you couldn't tell in my voice, but yeah. Right. Gotta go through this room that takes like 10 mi like minutes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do love the music that plays here, but I really would just rather get to the next part of the level and not, you know, wade through this very slow segment. We'll get through this eventually. Ah, what the fuck? Right, well everybody's got full health now, so that's good. We should be all good now. It was just that one fucking bit. I'm glad they give you multiple solutions for these parts.
Wait. Don't tell me it wasn't up there. Oh, come on. I mean, you, you'd think it would be in this room, but okay then. I guess it's not. Fuck off. I mean, at least I know it's not in there, but that's, that's a... I, I, can't, I can't believe I stressed out over that whole bit. Right, let's continue. Just... yeah. Like, all instincts would be like, okay, it has to be in that room, and then it's like, nope, not in there. Also, Dribbles is about to die again. The Dribbly, or whatever that thing's called, the water one. Oh. <laughs> I still haven't gotten rid of that. I keep accidentally using that. Not like I need it. So some more Robobot music. Defeat the, the mini boss, and the mini boss lands on the other person, making them die. So, wait a minute, where, where it? Did I? I? I don't see it. Hang on a second. I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's in this room. Right, you're gonna have to bear with me. Oh yeah, time to waste some more time. Yeah, my favorite. Right, well, wherever it is, I missed it somehow, so I'm gonna have to, like, play that whole level again. I say whole level like it's a big level, it's not, it's just... I, I didn't see it, so... Gonna have to, like, go through the whole thing again with a fine comb. That's fun. Uh, I don't know why this one level is making me salty. Like, everything else has been fine, and it's this one level that's, like cause me a little bit of a headache. Can I skip this? No. Didn't think so.
I begin to question if it's even worth the effort, which probably not, to be honest. I'm not sure did I miss anything in this room because I really feel like I didn't. Hang on. please. Wow, Kibble, you're, you're bad at this. <laughs> ah. Right, idea. As far as I can tell, there isn't a rare piece over there. But I'm just double checking again in case I missed it. You know, in case I somehow missed what should have been obvious, but... You have to be kidding me. I... What? I... I didn't see it the first time, though. What, what are you talking about, game? <laughs> I, I didn't see it the first time, what? It got destroyed by fire? Is that what happens? That can happen in this game? Okay then, well... Apparently that was the reason. Let's finish the level. Yeah, that, that, one, that one mystifies me. War, so just get rid of him.
Oh. Yeah, you want to stop that, Bugsy, please? Letting my allies do the work for me. I'm saving this for the next part. I'm sure, it's taking their sweet ass time to take this guy down. Good. those two doing? <laughs> oh, they were waiting for me to inhale that, right. One hundred and twenty-eight lives. Right, just a couple more levels. We're almost done with the game now. Needless to say, I don't think there'll be enough time for me to check out some side content. Even though this game probably won't clock in as long as the other two games that I did recently, it's still... Like, I won't have the energy to like do anything else once I'm done with the main story. Two more pieces for that one. Hi. Right, I think this may be the last puzzle piece. I'm gonna quickly check something. Is it possible to take my existing ability and turn that into a helper? How do I do that? Like if I want to take this one and turn it into like, you know, the painter thing? Because I don't see something that tells you how to do that. Actually, ah, uh, there we go. That's how you do it. So I went to the grab at ESP for myself.
Right, so I'm guessing the Flame Burge fight, and then there's like a little bit more of the level after that. Because I didn't see any rare puzzle pieces up to this part. Right, here we go, Flame Burge part 2. Who would have thought my search for the Jamba Heart pieces would lead me to, back to you and your puffery? This must be the fiery flames of fate at work. Oh yeah! My flames and I are fully stoked now. Beware, you puny pink pest. In the name of Lord Highness, I'll turn you into a burning ball of meddlesomeness. Yeah, you're really good with your words, aren't you? Right, so Flame Burge round two. Versus Flame Burge, she's supposed to be looking for dark hearts. But Flame Birch has found her way to a nice toasty spot and is taking a bit of a break. She'd like to invite Francesca to join her, but worries that she might melt in the heat. How they don't check, they don't like pay attention to my cues. It's like I hold up and then there's like a helper next to me and they don't do anything. Oh shit. Oh, that's cool. They, they stopped the fuse. I forgot you could do that during the flame burst fight. Like, douse the fuse so that it can be used to blow up the cannon. Again, these people are useless at paying attention to my cues. Good helpers. Finally. <laughs> Fucking finally somebody listens. There we go. Smacked her with that star. Now she's blasting off again. I guess the other general's up ahead. If we're refighting all three of them. Wait, that was the whole level? Yeah, that was the whole level. I, mi I missed. Okay, gonna have to replay that one again. Uh I, I love doing I love missing things. It's my favourite. Yeah, I think that's the last level right there, by the way. Thankfully, this is a very short level. Just need to look around a little bit more thoroughly. Like, I just assumed that first room had nothing in it. In terms of, like, the collectibles you're looking for.
Oh, wait a minute. Is it in that barrel? Ah, right. No wonder I didn't fucking see it. Gonna have to fight Flemberg again, sadly, but whatever. I wonder. Um, hang on. Right, everybody's got full health again. Sorry for the lack of commentary here, like we've seen this boss already, I'm just finishing it again. If anyone else heard that. Like, just her death scream got cut off there by us, like, smooching each other. That was kind of funny. Right, okay. Before we do the end game, I'm going to go change my allies. Going to get a couple other dreams in. Hey, we just finished this. Nice. Yeah, that's Return to Dreamland. Fight for the crown. So we see the, the four main characters, we see them doing stuff. There's also Landia, uh, the, the lore star cutter, and uh, Magolwar's final form. And also the form before that. Pretty cool. Nice, nice little picture.
I like it. No idea what game this picture is based off of, but we're not going to get that one finished. Nor this one. Bring back the roach. We'll fill in the third slot as well, why not? Uh, King Dedede, I guess? There we go. Right, here we go. Uh, before I check that, yeah, there's something back there as well that we can't do yet. Maybe Planet Ripple Star was over here somewhere. Can't interact with that. Yeah, I guess that's the true final boss spot, and this is like the level before that. Yeah, I don't see Ripple Star, sadly. Assuming that it was even here. Yeah, punch the roach. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Oh, the roach, please. <laughs> I almost killed myself there by doing that. Nice. I don't know if you can tell by I love this particular move. Okay, this just looks awkward with like King DDD being involved there. Hey there, Marks. Uh, you had you had one job, and that was not to interfere. Yeah, the roach has a fire move. I realise that now. My goal as well. Again, this game could have benefited with online multiplayer, but nah, this game does not have such a thing. Did he get it?
keep forgetting you can piggyback on the other allies so that you can, like, control with them. Means that I can keep Kirby's mic for the mini-boss, should there be one coming up. Again, that just looks kind of awkward. Even this late in the game, they're not afraid to give you a whole bunch of 1-ups. This game is like the most generous, like, one up giving video game. And people thought New Super Mario Bros. was generous. Right, there we go. Again, sorry if I'm starting to sound a little bit out of it, like I'm starting to run on fumes at this point tonight, this late into the stream. I say this late, it's still relatively early for me, because usually this would be around the time where I would do my normal streams, but I started the stream much earlier today because of that Sakurai Presents. I'll be going to bed early tonight. The Divine Terminus, I think that's the last level. There's a puzzle piece here as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the last level because... I can see, like, I forgot her name, the, the last general, but also the thing behind her is the leader of this whole thing. of the Jambonians, or whatever they're called. Whatever the collective term for this species is. I still have my, like, microphone ability. to do that. Oh, 
I didn't even know I dismounted from uh, King Dedede there. That was that was a bit annoying. Come come over here, please. Stand still. Right there we go. Right, well there it is. Yeah! Try that again, that's fine. At least I can keep retrying this part. That's all the puzzle pieces in the game. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's like another, you know, level with a puzzle piece after this. DDD, please stand still. God, please. Oh, stop jumping! He just he he he. <laughs> right, well, that's what you all fucking get for not doing what I told you to do. Fuckers deserved it, I guess. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Whatever. I'll just have generic characters, I guess. Fuck the microphone. Actually, I wonder. Can I store that in here? No, you can't store that in there. Or, wait a minute, did I press the right button? No, you, you can't store that in there. Fuck it. I'll do something else. Uh... For healing. And staff. That's cool. The friends have followed the dark carts not long last arrived. Something didn't quite read all of that in time. The one time where the loading screen was short didn't give me enough time to read that. Stop right there, pink one! There she is. I did not expect you to survive your visit to Jam Bastion. What's more, you somehow bested my darling Franny and Burge. However, your luck has run out. It is the dearest wish of Lord Highness. That no one interferes! Right, here we go. The first of several final boss fights. Oh, that's cool. I like the uppercut with the blaster sword. You get massive airtime with it. Oh, 
Oh, no, fuck. You become very floaty when you've got the blister sword. I just realised that the HUD shows me the element that my weapon has got right now. Like, behind the, the sword icon you can see the elemental icon. Revived them just in time. Might not want to celebrate yet, there's still shit going on in the background. Help, Highness! Ugh. What is this interference? You... You seem to be in my way. Holy shit. Well then... It seems we do not have enough energy to revive our Dark Lords. Must we allow ourselves to fall into oblivion? No! No! No, 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 no! No, I say! Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. Right, I'm going to have to read all of that later if I remember to do that. You see it now, don't you? Anyone who interrupts our revival ceremony? We must kindly ask that they... Please disappear forever! The Officiant of Doom Highness. Versus Highness. Highness worships a, worships a deity of destruction whom he plans to bring back to life. However, a right gone wrong has led to the dark power he needs to being scattered across the galaxy. Now he seeks to gather the power at an altar. Stop him, star allies. short work of him with this. Blissel Sword's great for getting a lot of airtime damage. this fucking thing. I do remember this thing's face. His once carefully concealed face now exposed, Highness is on the rampage. 
tossing the three unconscious sisters around like ragdolls, it's clear that he's lost his grip on reality. It's up to the star allies to bring him into this nightmare and save everything. So yeah, now now the, the three generals have become his pawns, quite literally. Oh fuck. Yeah, how about, how about some healing? <laughs> uh oh. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Yeah, sometimes it can be easy to, like, lose track of where the fuck you are on the screen. Ma! I'd love to help you, but I can't seem to get to you. No. Oh fuck. Friendship wheel. No, oh, I are you. Yeah, you want you want to make that food real quick. Thank you. Nice. Yes, there we go. Good thing I had Vivi Drea with me for healing. Couple close calls there. You! How could you defeat me? The Lord Highness! An offering to our Dark Lords! Perhaps if there is an offering... What should I do? Only one option remains. Those who harbor the greatest of magic, I call upon you. Make it so. Accept my aid. I pledge myself to you, Dark Lord of Destruction. I do this so that our Dark Lord may be reborn. Rise, destroyer of worlds! Rise, Void Termina! Oh, he even put himself in there. Star Allies Sparkler. That's this game's version of the Star Rod, by the way. Not so much a weapon as a vehicle, but it is something we'll be using for the final boss.
So there's one really cool thing about this final boss fight, which I'm not going to mention yet until you start seeing it, but it will become pretty obvious what that really cool thing is about this fight. So here's Void Termina. So this final boss is in full 3D. No going around the circle, like we can go anywhere we want. I'm actually going to use the analog stick for this fight. Like I've been using the D-pad up until this point, because I prefer D-pad for like 2D platformers. But since we have full reign of where we can move, I guess I might as well be using this instead. So yeah, even though it's in like full 3D, there's still like, you know, automa automated strafing, so it's not like complete freedom, but it's still pretty cool to see this in like what is otherwise like pretty predominantly like a 2D platformer. And I can only imagine what the final, final, final boss fight in like the, the Forgotten Land will look like, if this is what we're getting for this. Keep in mind that, of course, like being a 3D game, all the boss fights and you know the Forgotten Land will be in three, di three dimensions. They pretty much established that with the trailer, where Kirby's fighting that big monkey fella. There's the weak point. There. There we go. Right, that's the first part down. Now to go inside. To fight the core. I forgot to check the... God damn it. So, sorry I keep forgetting. Like, it's so, something that's very easy to forget, in my defense. But yeah, um, the shocking true form of Void Termina has been revealed. Born from the total absence of care and composed of dark energy, he has awakened from a state of mere existence to that of true sentience. He now desires only one thing, to crush all opposition. Using the D-pad again, since we're back in 2D modes.
Rise, O oh dark lord of despair, crush the stars, lay waste to care. Upon your wing, dark judgment bring. May your symphony of tragedy cause the end of everything. I'm guessing this is, um, Highness speaking. If it's one thing, like, the Hell Labs does on top of making a fun game with great music, it's like making really fun final boss fights. And this game is no different. Nice. Again, I can't wait to see what the boss fights, especially like the, the late game boss fights are going to be like in Forgotten Land. Like, I think they'll be a lot of fun. Oh! Didn't time that jump. But we're all good now. Time to see the, the true form of the core inside. That looks a little bit familiar. Versus Void Termina. As the spring breeze blows, a young traveller appears. After greeting new friends and bidding farewell to old ones, his path has finally led him here. Let's beat this guy already. After that, lunch and a nap. So there is lore behind this. Apparently this is like another Kirby, I think, or something. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure of the specifics, but I had something about how this was supposed to be like a reincarnated Kirby. I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird. I'll have to look into it. Like, I don't know the, the exact details. I should have, like, researched this before I streamed this today, but... I heard about how... I mean, it looks like Kirby, you see, like, Kirby's face on it, so... Make of that what you will. Oh. It's even doing like a medical matter move. Get some extra food in for the allies. Oh, hey, look. Now it's turned into dark matter. Wind up my spin shot there. Oh, 
Right, well, there you go. I think that's the whole fight. I think if you fight this boss in, like, True Arena, there's, like, an extra, like, stage to that fight, if I recall. But yeah, now it's time for this. Yeah, QTEs. Yeah, mash up a single button. Yeah! QTEs, I love them. Okay, so you ready for this? Check this out. Combining the powers of everyone. I wonder if the DLC characters show up there, like I didn't see them. What was that thing that Sonic says at the end of Sonic Heroes? We'll show them the real super awesome power of teamwork. That's basically what just happened there. Yeah, I don't know if we'll see Void Termina in Forgotten Lands. I mean, if they ever bring them back, it probably won't be for a while. I'm sure there's going to be, like, a completely new threat for, like, Forgotten Land. You know, it's the same, this final cutscene can't be comprised of, you know, Da Roach, <laughs> King DDD, and whoever the other one was. Sorry, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. Like, they're all fucking dead now. Crushed into oblivion. Instead, make way for these generic help helpers. But yeah, that was uh, Kirby Star Allies. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to be doing any side content. It didn't take me as long to finish this game as the, the other two that I did recently. But I'm a little bit tired. I'm going to be ending the stream after the credits. So yeah, final thoughts on this. It's still a good game, I enjoy it, but yeah, after like Planet Robobot, it's a very, very safe Kirby game, and yeah, it's you could make the argument that it's easy, but it's still a lot of fun to play in my opinion, I, I think it's, I mean you could say that for any Kirby game, yeah they're easy, but they're also fun, they're not boring or annoying, or in, for the most part, not a chore to play. But this is one of the, I will say this one, this is one of the easier Kirby games in general, but, you know, Kirby games were never made to be Dark Souls. That said, of course, there is, you know, challenges to be had, like True Arena and whatnot. 
like all the side content and like post game stuff. Like whenever somebody brings up the argument, oh th this game is too easy, like my counter argument is, well I've got two counter arguments, one that's not the point and two there is actually difficult stuff in it, you just didn't play enough of the game, go back and play it again. But yeah, um, I, I enjoyed this, but it's not my favourite Kirby game. I think my favourite Kirby game would either be Return to Dreamland or Planet Robobot, like those two are like very high in the list for me. Speaking of rating my games, um, I'm a little bit tired, I'm going to be ending the stream after this, I'm not going to bother with the, the what you call it, the, the, the tier list, like I don't have one prepared and I don't feel like, like setting it up, so... If you guys are okay with it, I might do that some other day, and just like kind of like tack that on. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or something, who knows, maybe I'll start tomorrow streaming with it if I do one tomorrow. So yeah, just, uh, just refighting some of the bosses I guess. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm gonna look up the lore behind Void Termina because I'm kind of interested to see what the deal is with them. Right, Void Termina lore, let's see. One moment. Right, so Void Termina also titled the Oh, that's cool internet, yeah, you start dropping frames when I load up a Wikipedia page, or, you know, a fandom page. Right, so Void Termina, also titled Destroyer of Dark Worlds, or True Destroyer of Worlds, as referred to as Dark Lord by Highness, is the reincarnated form of the god, Jambastion Religion. Now let's see, what's Jambastion Religion? Oh, it's their religion, right, okay then. So, let's see, does this have any lore in it? So, in his final form, Kirby and Co. go up against Void Termina's exposed core, a purple sphere with a strange colour swirling ar around its mass. There are three dark spots that move about the, sur the surface of the core, forming faces, including one very familiar, very similar to Kirby himself. It can also transform into something that closely, re closely resembles dark matter. Right, okay, so may maybe this website doesn't have the lore specifically, it's just like describing the boss. I don't know, I'll, I'll look it up later. the ultimate choice. I think that's this game's version of the arena, where it's basically like, you pick the difficulty you want to play on. And I think this is the, the post-game release DLC like story mode, like it's, you play as the sisters or something, something like that. I, I forgot exactly what that is, but yeah. 73% there, but yeah, you can see mines is fully finished, like, I got everything done. But you can see that the ultimate choice is the different colour, because I finished it with, like, the maximum... What was the highest difficulty? It was, like, 9.0 or something? Or 9.9? .9. Kind of like how Smash Brothers works when you do the, the classic mode. Even though this game doesn't have involvement from Sakurai, but... It still has like some elements from Smash in here, at least in terms of like that. Uh, I'm starting to slur my words, I'm starting to fall asleep a bit, so I am going to end it here. Oh yeah, before I stop, let me just show you one cool thing. I'm not going to actually play this, I just want to show you one thing real quick with the menu. So here's the difficulty thing, so it's like... It's like on a scale of 1 to 10, but yeah, check it out, like you see how Kirby, like he's 
happy and then he's okay. He's kind of indifferent, then it gets a little bit angrier and angrier. I guess you could say saltier or spicier. There's, there's one of my favourite expressions that Kirby does since 64, like the big bulging eyes. Now check this out, look at the next one. Fucking Devil Kirby from the anime. So yeah, a video game actually does reference that. <laughs> I just wanted to show that real quick because I do remember that from this. Right, okay then, so I am going to end it here. That was a lot of fun, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's been a good couple weeks, but I am done with Kirbython. Maybe in the future I will do individual streams of the other, like, spin-offs that I didn't get around to during this marathon. But for now I'm gonna call it and probably go get some sleep shortly because I'm feeling like, again, I'm running on fumes at this point because I've been doing another long stream eight and a half hours today. And, like, the first hour of that was, like, Hasakurai Presents. So, you all take care. I'm going to put the end screen up and I will probably do Sonic Colors and Monkey Ball either tomorrow or like toward the weekends. Of course Metroid Dread as well, this week. <laughs>